Good evening and welcome to the Deerfield Select Board Board of Health meeting March 27th, 2019 at 6 p.m. at the Municipal Offices here in uh, South Deerfield. Uh, we'd like to start our meeting with the Pledge of Allegiance. Would you all please rise? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Um, this meeting is being televised and recorded. Well, I guess the first thing we can do is to uh, vote on the FY20 wage increase. Um, can I just take two seconds? Um, it's it, it's going to be a, it's really bad now for ticks, and so I'm just recommending you need to, um, the best thing you can do is per, permethrin, and um, but not on cats, and the cheapest you can do is like tractor supply. The Bronco spray has some enough in it that will kill most of the ticks. You spray your shoes. You spray spray your pants when you go outside, you won't get any ticks on you. So just quick, sorry. Okay. Are they rearing their ugly head right now? Yes, they're absolutely okay. rearing their ugly head. I, I did not call Brenda this morning, but I will verify that we still have some available tick tests. So if you are bitten, you can send it down to UMass at this point and get your ticks tested, um, you know, subsidized rate. Thank you. So does anyone want to start any discussion about this wage? In, is it wage increase? That, I don't think we're talking about the wage increase. Aren't we I'm, talking about the cost of living? I, we're talking I, about the COLA. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. you're calling it a COLA. I just called it a wage okay. increase. I didn't know Great. if you would it really said what you were, if it was tied to something, so I just yep, named it that. Um, I, I make a motion we um, approve a 2% COLA for our town employees. I'll second that for discussion. Um, does anybody want to add anything to that? I feel like um, it's realistic, and um, I think our we need to support our employees. Feel the same. I feel the same. Yep. Okay. Um, my only thought is that the cost of everything being so high, with every employee getting a, a step uh, increase that is in excess of three percent, I just thought that the two percent on top of that was a bit much. But let's move this forward and get it done. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Those opposed, aye. So that's two to one. Two to one. Thank you. We do have a uh, scheduled hearing at 6.15, but we got a couple more minutes. Yeah, so we could do that. Why don't we appoint the police officers per the chief's request? Mm -hmm. Do we need to do them individually or? Yeah, I think so. Do you want me to read or sure, do you want to? Sure, Okay. So um, this is a letter to the select board from the um, chief, uh, John Paturk. Um, so these are uh, part-time appointments to, to the Deerfield Police Department. Um, dear Honorable Board, I'm respectfully requesting the following individuals be appointed as part-time police officers for the town of Deerfield with a term to expire June 30th, 2019. So Robert A. Thrasher, a retired lieutenant from UMass Police Department with a starting rate of 21 an hour. Um, do you want to do one at a time? I don't know if it makes a difference. Oh, uh, okay. Does it? No. Nope. No, I'll right. do it all, can, all at the end. Listen. Okay, I sure. Sorry. We'll as do long it all. As you read the names and yes. Yep, right. I will. Uh, so, Mark L. H. Uh, Jacques, um, a retired sergeant from UMass Police Department with a starting rate of 21 an hour. Matthew Wanzik, Wansnick, uh, who resides in Turner's Falls and is new to the profession, training rate of $12 an hour and a rate after completion of field training officer program of $16.50 an hour. And Nicholas J. Uh, Lamange, um, who resides in East Hampton, is new to the profession, training rate of $12 an hour and a rate after completion uh, field training officer program of $16 an hour. Um, okay, we can vote that and then I'll read the final. Okay, I um, second that. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? And he just goes on to say, as the board is aware, we are currently have seven openings for part-time officers. In January, we posted for part-time officers in which candidates were selected for interviews. In total, 12 interviews were conducted. Each interview was graded with the scores average. The top four candidates were selected for ride-along with officers, um, both Robert Thrasher and Chip 
and uh, Mark Jocks are, are inst uh, instructors in a vast variety of areas for the Municipal Police Training Committee. Um, their breadth of knowledge is beyond compare. Both have such humble personalities that the residents will truly enjoy them. Uh, together they hold nearly 80 years of law enforcement experience. So Wanzik and Lamarge are, are both new to the profession. However, both have exhibited excellent communication skills and a strong desire to learn and put in extensive hours. So um, we thank them very much for serving Deerfield and our residents and welcome. The next item is to appoint Kate Hart to the Town Common Ad Hoc Committee. Um, make, I'll make a motion to, to um, appoint Kate Hart to the Town Common Ad Hoc Committee. And I th uh, second that. Uh, is, was there an, uh, I just yep. didn't know anything about Sure, so, um, so our Ad Hoc Committee for the Town Common, this is working on the plans and has a bit to do with the complete streets. We're trying to lend help towards that and help design the, the sidewalks and maybe new benches on the common. Okay. Um, it's, a, it's a committee we've been meeting for a couple of years now and um, with Jane's passing this year and other people um, moving away, we've had some open spots. So it's been an evolving group of people, but we encourage anybody that wants to come and get involved. Um, you know, we're just advisory and just trying to get, get things together and a plan going forward on that. So we'd love public's help. So great. great, thanks. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Three zero on that. Award a bid for the boilers for the Deerfield Elementary School in regards to the Green Communities uh, grant that we received. Right. So yeah. I think I'd mentioned at some point that we had done a request for uh, quotes for uh, the replacement of the Deerfield Elementary School boilers project through Green Communities grant funding. We had four bidders, and um, the low bidder uh, we had a we had a base bid amount, and then we had an optional uh, communication card amount. Mm -hmm. um, we are going to have to say no to the optional communication card. Um, the all of the bids came in above the budget that we had for green communities, um, but we'd like to award the low uh, base bid for the for the turnkey boiler cost for uh, changing out the two boilers. Uh, to performance plumbing and heating. Um, my only question is the, um, without the optional communication card, is this really, I mean, th I thought that was the point. Well, it's yeah. turnkey. So the boilers, the two boilers will have no problem communicating. Um, as far as communicating to the other boiler, um, you know, they, they will have to work with Siemens to figure out how to get that to work. They're, they're currently, you know, have a contract with Siemens, the school does, so they're feeling they can work that out with Siemens in their contract. But okay. when these vendors went and got price proposals from Siemens, these were the costs that they were given, about thirty to 40000 um, so and some are different, right? right. Well, I mean, because I don't know if we got an answer to that. Right. Eventually. Well, because the other two, um, they may have put some of that cost in their boiler cost, gotcha. which is also, um, you know, not not really allowable. Right. Um, so. Um, and do do we feel really comfortable? I mean, do you always have to go with a low bid, or do you, do you uh, feel comfortable with with this? Um, this yeah, outfit he, versus more of a local outfit. Um, he had excellent references. Okay. Um, with the way we did the with, we did the quote. Yes, we you, need to go with the low bid who made um, who had the responsive Same. and responsible. Okay, fine. Um, you know, yep. we just so, want to make sure we're comfortable with that. And he's already we've already spoken. Um, he's very anxious to get started. He already has a schedule that I've given to Bob, and you know, obviously we have yep. a, a deadline of May to get the work done so we can use the grant funds. So okay. So, so you're recommending that we do yes, that? Yes, yes. Okay. We, we, Bob, I, I met with uh, Bob Lesko. We're yep. both recommending it um, okay. sort of as the, as the folks that are working on the project. Right. And, okay. and that amount would be um, 138824 and we'd be foregoing the 33000 that was bid for that communications card. Correct. Okay. Somebody want to make a motion for that? Or? I'll make that motion. Uh, second. second All those in favor? Hi. 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 This is great. I'm really excited. This That's is the performance plumbing and heating from um, Medway. Correct. Right. Yes. All right. This okay. would be great. And all uh, of this was in the packet. Um, what yeah. is the... And this was all Green Communities Grant. Great. So what is the reporting on the Green Communities Grant? We just have to report that it was installed, right? Yes, or basically... Is there a, a performance... Uh, you know, you follow up a year later to show that we have a performance um, savings. 
we're doing two things with green communities. When we are in a project where we're reporting quarterly on the work in the project, and then we're doing an annual report for that savings that Perfect. you're talking about. And we have to keep doing those annual reports if we want to be eligible for the grants every year. So we are. We have a contract, a contract with the COG, and they're doing those annual reports. Okay, Great. so is that part of our technical assistance, or is that separate cost? That's separate. That's something we were contact we were contracting. I think Pat Smith was doing it when she was there, but before Pat left and before Wendy left, um, we we did sign that contract for them to do the annual reporting for green communities. We have the funding in this grant. We can yep. use the administrative money right. for that report. Perfect. Um, so we're just waiting for them to okay. get a person in place. Okay. So so you don't think that the reporting is going to off is going to be? I mean, the reporting cost is going to be far less than any operational. And I think it's yeah, it's in this right. Yeah, or absolutely. You mean year after year after year, yeah. right? Oh, as it's far yes, there's cost. There has to be energy savings in this. Yes, there's there's okay. a report that goes I just in want as to part make sure of. That our, yes, I mean there's no question we want to replace the boilers yeah. because they need to be replaced. But yeah, yeah, um, yeah. yeah you don't want to spend. If money you read, I don't want to spend more money. The savings, right? Yeah. The, there, Carolyn, in the specifications, I think what you're referring to is there in the specifications the company has to show the demonstrated savings yes. and they have to report that as part of the green communities. Mm -hmm. okay. It says it Great. right in the specifications. Yeah. No, I just want to make sure that we were. Um, you know, able to get that. Yeah. Great. Because I knew that was part of it. Sounds good. Gonna, um, okay. Wait. It's now 6.15, so why don't we ask Mr. Prickett and yeah. come on up and talk to us about our report. Do you want me to make, oh, you have more agendas or do you? Yeah. Oh, okay, great. Oh, perfect. Thank you. Yeah, welcome. Thank you. Yeah, welcome. Thanks for coming back. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. How would you I like to? Uh, I thought I thought it was a whole packet. I'm sorry. And I'm I have one. Of them. So, um, yep. Yep. Okay. There should be a couple extras there. Yep. Uh, thanks. Yeah. Okay. Yep. So we came this evening prepared to answer any questions you may have. Uh, about things wastewater, but maybe if we just take two to three minutes and just do a quick overview That'd be sure. great. of where things are at, and we Thank can ju ju jump right in with Q&A. Yep. Um, quick update on the wastewater condition assessment and needs analysis project. It's a mouthful. Um, I can see there's at least one or two copies, if three, going <laughs> on up there. So you now have a draft report. Um, Thank you for your patience. Um, we were able to merge a lot of different wastewater paths into one document, I think, long term. It'll make life easier for us to fall asleep once reading that as yeah. opposed to three or four times. So um, take your time, go through that. Whenever you have questions, we'll be happy to get back together, uh, whether it be in kind of workshop style, uh, and go through any questions and comments yep. you may have. Good. Regarding the uh, secondary clarifier upgrade, um, following the uh, uh, authorization for the appropriation by the residents a few weeks ago, um, we've been in discussions with MassDP uh, most recently this afternoon. Um, they are in the process of trying to finalize the updated administrative order for the project with the timeline that we had requested. Um, DEP is trying to um, help you uh, as part of your um, phase one project that's coming on the heels of the clarifier, uh, assumingly coming on, the, on mm -hmm. the heels of the clarifier, try to help with lower interest uh, solutions. Uh, the state, in certain circumstances, has been able to get uh, certain projects 0% interest instead of 2%. So um, your representatives that live here, some of which just across the river in Sunderland, are, are trying hard yeah. as part of that administrative order to not only help you with that, but try to come up with funding finance solutions. So more to come on that. Yep. Um, I've just provided a little snippet update here in the schedule that I don't believe we need to go through in detail. but. We're pretty close to where we were a month and a half ago, um, projecting out uh, final completion March, April. Um, we'll probably ask for a little bit of leeway with MassDEP for, mm -hmm. I don't even want to say another bad winter like two years ago, but who knows what could happen next winter. It was pretty mild this year. And with that, um, the last thing is just 
that we really wanted to get going tonight in terms of the dialogue was um, talking about the phase one uh, upgrades, which as you may recall, were the highest need improvements at the South Deerfield plant. Um, we've submitted the USDA funding application. We've had quite a bit of back and forth with USDA over the past two to three weeks. Uh, they've been very accommodating. What we're trying to do now is get them to the point where they can come back to you with a preliminary soft commitment. And the reason I say preliminary commitment is USDA, Mass DEP, pretty much any funding entity that exists, they won't give you a firm commitment, a letter commitment, signed, synced, uh, signed and, and inked until you have an appropriation in place. So I think the, the next big decision for Deerfield, you and the residents and, and, and everything else with the ad hoc committees and et cetera, is to try to figure out the timing of what would be the appropriation for phase one, mm -hmm. um, whether that come this spring at annual town meeting, whether that come at a subsequent uh, special town meeting, and to what extent that initial appropriation would be, whether it be for the initial upfront uh, elements of the project, whether it be for the, the full value of the phase one project. So um, this is where things get a little looser tonight mm -hmm. and becomes more of a dialogue than an update, right. uh, certainly. So. Um, I'm bringing, bringing this to you this evening, and I think um, our, our encouragement or advice is an appropriation gets us much closer to a piece of paper that gives us a firm commitment, and we obviously want that. We want the terms that are best for the community. So um, what, what I, um, I guess what I am concerned about is um, how we're going to obviously afford this. So... Um, how we're going to lay this out depends on how we're going to pay for it if we can get zero percent mm -hmm. and also if we're going to get money from the usda so mm -hmm. when you talk about a soft commitment um do they understand that we need a little bit of an indication oh yeah yeah okay. absolutely so I mean do you have an, a timeline for that or how or what do we need to do to get some kind of indication about how much money we're going to get? So the local office um, from USDA, and it's it's actually being handled uh, by a representative from their Wareham office. That's just kind of how they do business in New England. It's someone from Massachusetts. Um, you know, they put together a preliminary summary, and then it has to go to D.C. So everything goes to the federal office for even the the, the preliminary approval. So that's where it's at. So they've packaged everything up. We've collectively, USDA, DPC, and the town um, have tried to make this as rosy as possible. I mean, we want as big a grant as we can get. Mm -hmm. We can't control the interest rate with USDA. It is what it is. Yeah. Um, the two things that are, are floating are what percent grant will the application yield, and will they keep us in the intermediate interest rate category, or will they bump us into what they call the poverty interest rate? Again, I, I hate the term yeah. uh, because Deerfield is by no means a poverty community, but that's just how they term that's it. That's okay. Well, I, that's I'm what I said. Call me what you will. You want. <laughs> I don't care. Call me what you will. But what it amounts to right now is um, they they change the rates every three months. That's just how they work based on the, the treasury and everything. But mm -hmm. right now the intermediate rate is three and a half percent. The poverty rate's two and a half percent. So it's a pretty big uh, difference in terms right. of what you pay back each year. Um, again, the moving parts there are the grant percentage. Um, on the DEP side, their timeline's a little different. It's not a rolling cycle. So presumably this summer, we will submit what's called a project evaluation form for SRF funding to DEP um, in early August. That'll align us for their construction money a year from then. So their, their timeline is fixed. Um, we weren't there last August, as you mm -hmm. recall. We were getting going. We were yeah. building some momentum, but we weren't substantially done with planning. Um, so that's the timeline on DEP. The two things that are variables on DEP is can we get from 2% to 0% interest? By no means is this a slam dunk. Right. But they are trying to, in a carpentry terms, rough in the provisions that allow us to preserve that. And then the second element is principal forgiveness. So SRF has, um, and it's kind of depends very year to year based on the free cash that they have available. But this year in the, in the most recent priority list, um, many of the communities received a 9.9% principal forgiveness. Um, whether Deerfield would be considered for that, I don't know. But those are the two variables on the SRF side. Now, mm -hmm. if the annual costs were similar, 
obviously you'd not want to pay your mortgage for 40 years if you could pay it for 20, right? right. I think everyone in the public will very well understood that, anyone that's had a mortgage. Yep. Um, so we're pursuing multiple avenues. Um, we are waiting on those agencies and will be to, to give us firm commitments, but you will have to make a decision as to what your timeline is with an appropriation. Some communities appropriate money well before planning uh, with the expectation that they're only gonna spend the money um, as funding opportunities present themselves. Right. Um, you may decide that it's in your best interest to hold off until you have soft commitments to make that decision. But with the annual town meeting uh, timeline coming up and your deadline for warrant articles, mm -hmm. I think it's appropriate to at least explore this this evening uh, and moving yeah. forward. Right. That makes me feel better because if we just appropriate like a, a million bucks, it can go towards well, whatever. But what I want to know is um, what do we have to do to make sure that our application still keeps coming to the top of the pile? Well, I think we need line. to appropriate phase one. Okay. We need to ask for the phase one and, you know, be very upfront with the residents that this, these are the things that we've all for the last couple of years looked at that really need to get done. They're not wants, they're needs. And we would um, only... My, my fear is to keep going back and going back and going back to town meeting and asking for a million and asking for five million and asking for seven million. I'd love the appropriation, if I could, to ask for f phase one or phase one and three together and then not move forward unless we have favorable funding. You know, if, we have to move forward with some stuff, but I mean, at least it would show USDA and the and DEP that we're, we're committed to doing this. And, um, you know, and I think there's still time to work out exactly what that number is and exactly what we're going to do through the planning and design and engineering part of this and workshops to do that. But I think if we're upfront and honest with the people and tell them what's coming down the road, but I think we're going to need a couple weeks to figure out what does that do to your rates and what does it do to your taxes. And I think if we had a few weeks to do that, then we come to town meeting and just lay it all on the table and say, this is what we're looking at. And, well, and we find out where they, how they feel about that. And if, if they decide, no, we're not ready, um, we want to wait a year, then, then we may forego uh, a better, you know, a commitment. See, I don't, I, I don't know. I, I don't really agree with that in the sense that, because you don't want to ask for so much money. You're asking for people to appropriate money, and so, somehow mm -hmm. you have to be able to pay for it. But Correct. we appropriated a million at the um, special town meeting. And if we ask for another, that's another million. Mm -hmm. So that will give us something to work with. And if you're indicating that we have a pretty good chance of getting, you know, hopefully getting something, or maybe but even being able to borrow at 0%, then we'd have, that would... I get that. The one's not going to get you there, though. The well, one's not going to get you a commitment, if, unless I'm wrong. No, so you, you won't have a commitment until you appropriate the project costs. I do, believe me, I appreciate this. This is a, this is this a give is and take. This is what we need, this is yeah. A, this, so you're this asking us to forward. appropriate for the, for the whole 13 years. I'm trying well, to provide you with the information to facilitate you making informed decisions, right? Right. All three of you clearly understand how this works. I just want to make sure that I'm giving you information real time as we learn it from the funding agencies, um, that you understand that you can choose to not appropriate anything. You can mm -hmm. choose to appropriate, I guess I would call the soft cost, the design, et cetera, the engineering for whatever you're going to do at South Deerfield, whether it be that phase one mm -hmm. or the upgrade as a single upgrade. That's something that I think needs to be explored uh, with the rates or, and anticipated uh, funding finance scenarios. Mm -hmm. And then you'll have to decide whether it makes sense for you, Deerfield, to ask the residents for all the money for the project, knowing that you don't have the answer yet Carolyn, as I know what you're saying relative right. to how you're going to pay it back. And well, we don't have to I borrow mean, it either. Whether we get the grant or not will right. depend on how we're going to schedule this out. Right. We've got to do something. Right. But do we schedule it out and go for the 13 years, or do we schedule it out and go for 20? Do we figure out what are we going to do, how fast we implement the repairs? That's right. I mean, some of these repairs are... You know, like the headwork right. we're going to do. Right, have time. The right. timeline was based on anticipated levels of potential grant funding right. and interest rates. So that if we don't get risk. the grant, then that's going to have a huge impact yeah. on what we actually do at the speed of what we're going to do. But yeah. if we get the grant, a grant of some part, 
that's also going to have a huge impact on We're going to get a grant of magnitude from USDA. Yeah. I and we are confident about that. I think pretty good level of certainty that when they come back the first time, it's not going to be that percentage that we all hope and want. Of course. Right? Because that's right. just the balance in terms of what they have from money I know, at they any don't given have a, time. They only have a huge pot right. of money. This is leftover money from somewhere. But what I wouldn't want to do is risk that. If they give us a commitment, a soft commitment, and it's in the ballpark of being a real solution towards some of our immediate needs, then I would be urging you. If we had the soft commitment in hand, my right. firm recommendation would be appropriate the project cost at annual town meeting this spring. Of we don't quite much? have that. Of how much? Minimally, phase one at South yeah. Deerfield plant, okay. depending on the level of upgrade. Again, we talked about taking phase three and two and switching, right? Because right. phase mm -hmm. three is largely dealing with the rest of the high priority needs at South Deerfield. We know the South Deerfield plant is going right. to be there either way. Right. Even if you mothballed Old Deerfield, you know that that plant is going to be there for the long term. Right. What we don't really know is what, if any, mid to long term solutions might exist for connections that could happen if a pipe was brought from Old to South Deerfield, right? We don't know. That's a leap of faith. You know, yeah. future development that could occur along the pipe. I don't want you to hedge your bets on those. Right, um, right. But um, right now, today, I think my mild recommendation is to plan for an article of significance at Springtown meeting and you're going to have a deadline when you have to close it right and you'll have to have build sure. trust with the people today. that that you're not act, you know you're not going because you've got an appropriation not you're not actually going to spend the money until you have a path forward you know the whole idea is, is we're asking for this because this is what we're laying out this is the needs of the of the South Deerfield plant but we are in, you know we need to build that trust with residents that just because we have you're okay doesn't mean we're just going to go spend it you know but because of the funding and to mm -hmm go along, very long with, with what Trevor was just saying. One of the um, things you really need to look at, now I'm looking at that not only as, as this is my job, but I'm also a user and I'm also a taxpayer. So personally myself, again, this is just me, I'm looking at this saying, okay, now you have the opportunity to go ahead and appropriate the money, funding pending, mm -hmm. depending on how you get the funding. Nothing saying you're going to spend the money, right. you're just giving us approval to go towards that direction, which in turn gives us more favorable towards, because uh, USDA or one of the others, okay, well, there's a thousand, there, there, there's a million, there, there's, there's 1.5 million nickel and diming, and again, me as a taxpayer, I would rather say, see, you know what, if we do the whole thing, this is how much it's gonna cost me every year, and I got a breakdown. So it, it, the information going to the people Tell them exactly what's, well, not exactly, but within reason, telling them which direction they're going in to give them an idea on, on what their budget's going to have to be, their own personal budgets, mm -hmm. to see what there is. And one of the things that, that, as a job, that makes me afraid is nickel and diming them, is you get three nickels and you need the dime to finish the other three nickels. Now, I'm done. Forget it. Because... They're not, they're, they're, they don't see the whole big picture. They see this little bit, this little bit, and that little bit. So it's, it's almost like, like, you're, like you're giving a little treat to somebody, and they, and they devour that, and then you go, okay, well, well here, here's another one, but this one, this one here is going to be more of a, a Sour Patch Kid. Okay, well, this is going to be a triple Sour Patch Kid. You know, and, and again, this is just me personally. I see it as you've got to give them the whole thing, because otherwise you're getting tunnel vision, and tunnel vision is not good because basically tunnel vision is why we're in the position we're in right now. Well, personal opinion. After uh, the sewer study committee reached out and we ended up with uh, Dave, and we chose Dave for a roadmap for options and things to do because we knew this was going to be pretty expensive. We had just a year before we started that another study that pretty much said the exact same thing that this did in the ballpark price was about the same. And we knew that we couldn't afford that. We knew that we couldn't pay for that. And we also knew that the people aren't going to approve that. So the sewer study committee uh, reached out and we needed professional opinion on what exactly is wrong, what options do we have, how can we work this over time. And I understand everything that you guys are saying, but if you try and sell this, you know, $15 million all at once, it ain't going to happen. But again, this is not saying that Okay, you give me permission. Okay, I'm going to the bank. I'm going to get 15 million. 
You can, you can make the provisions within the warrant however you want. You can structure this to, to, to say to the point, yes, we as a town, we are committed to go ahead and fix this, which realistically, you have no choice. Because if you don't fix it, DEP is going to come in and they're going to tell you, you're going to fix it. I know. You know, and, and, and if we wait three years, that'll be what? Another three, another four percent on, on, on construction costs? The longer you stretch this out, the more money it's going to be. And I understand where you're coming from. So, so if you structure your warrant to the point of saying, we are asking for the ability as a, as a whole big picture, this is basically what we're looking at. We're looking at $15 million, arbitrary number. But right now, we're only looking to borrow 500,000. We're only looking to borrow less than a million, 750,000 for this part, to get us to this part. Now, next year, because we've been only been able to do this little bit, but we've shown to DEP, or, uh, DEP and, and the others that we're committed to doing this, they're going to go, hey, you know what, well, maybe that's going to bring us a little bit topper to the, to the list of getting grants, because you don't know what the money's going to be next year, or the year after, or the year after. But if everything dries up and you can't do it, there's nothing saying within that warrant, we have to do this in this, this time. You can slow up. So the, the, the timelines are kind of converging quickly here, clearly, you know, just in terms of the timing of the annual town meeting. Mm -hmm. um, I have seen on occasion, um, just for what it's worth, the, if you choose to flip-flop phases two and three, basically the, the value of the upgrades at the South Deerfield plant is about $15, $16 million in current day costs mm -hmm. for all of the highest priority upgrades at that plant. If you assume you're going to design it and go right out to construction, you escalate those out to the midpoint of construction, your round numbers are $18 million of upgrades at the South Deerfield plant. So some of the elements that we talked about in the phasing is the time value of the money from year one to four to eight to 13. Um, I have seen communities uh, choose to put two articles on a warrant, um, particularly when there could be some polarizing uh, discussions to be made. The first article may be to appropriate total project costs. If for some reason said article fails, you have a fallback, which is to appropriate basically the design phase cost of the project that right. keeps you going for the next fiscal year mm -hmm. and gives you that time to continue to deal with the funding agencies, regulatory agencies, to try to work out, Carolyn, more firm commitments on the how you're gonna pay it back. Um, well, I guess um, what I wanna know is, so the, mar the ap application has left Massachusetts, it's gone to DC. It's my understanding, so, yeah. So it's you, left our collective hands. We right, know that. Yeah. Right. So that means it must go political. So what do we have to do to be political to get that in the front of the line? Well, law? I think first we have to get the soft commitment from USDA. Okay. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, I don't see much, you know, you, we go in and try to fight it right now. They come back and say, we got you to this percent grant. You have no idea what the baseline condition was. We want to get that from them. First, so I, yeah. I would say we want to get that. Now, again, the timing of the putting the warrant together for the special for the annual town meeting together with trying to get the soft commitment and trying to lobby to get more inevitably which we believe we will uh, those are kind of working against each other right now Dave let me ask a question um, if if that clarifier had not failed and it was still working and when DEP made their inspections what would they have said about our plant as to uh, we would be under any orders of repair. You'd still be under the order for the disinfection and the, the, the safety elements of the, the, the safety gaseous elements chlorine. and yeah. the disinfection. And the disinfection. Okay. Yep. All right. Um, well, they, I, go ahead. They have nabbed other uh, facilities without redundancy and forced them to spend money fixing pieces of equipment that were inoperable. So they may have nabbed you on redundancy issues because without that other clarifier, you don't really have any redundancy. Right. I, I do believe the minimum action or recommendation for an action from us is at least move forward with the from planning to design of whatever, whether it's phase one, phase one slash three. You can choose to do whatever you want as a board and community, but our recommendation would be, you know, you've reestablished some major momentum over the last 12 to 18 months. I think it makes sense to carry on on that track. Well, um, this is kind of going back a little bit, but I, I, look, I read the first 56 pages, and then I looked back, and the majority of this book has to do with um, the, the culverts and the mm -hmm. catch basins and stuff like that. This was part of a previous 
work that you did for us, wasn't it? You just added, no. it's important stuff. No, no we did, did uh, do part of the I and I? There are, there are elements of the appendices that yep. came from the two II studies, yep. phase one and phase two, yep. but there was never an asset management element to the plan. I mean, your collection system, there's nothing in there with stormwater, just to be clear. No, I know. It's, it's just pipes and mantles, yep. just sewers and mantles. Um, well, I, I think that in, in the way we're talking is we're, we're still just pushing through. We waited a long time to get this. It gives us very little opportunity. And I think that the sewer study committee needs to look at this. And I don't know, in the back, I did read a few pages with your recommendations and suggestions and stuff, and I thought that was very helpful. But, you know, I don't know if it lays out choices for us as to, you know, Headworks versus, you know, this other thing. Can can this be done in a certain amount of time and the other ones be put off for a while? Are there different choices in the types of headworks to, to minimize costs and stuff like that? You know, those are the types of things that we wanted to talk about, and, and it doesn't seem like we've got any time now. Um, but that, I, That's well, fair. I think, you know, the reason we came up with phased and tiered recommendations is sure. you had a pretty thorough committee that was involved, yep. including representatives from... You know, from the select board, from uh, the treatment plant, from DPW, um, from finance at times. Um, and those people came up with the recommendations together in terms of the timeline. The 13-year piece, Kip, was really what looks affordable in terms of, you know, obviously you want to do everything as quickly as possible, but the 13-year four-phase timeline was trying to put something together that would be able to be tolerated and, 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 and accepted on the part of the residents based on assumed levels of grant Right, and, and we finance. increased the rates, uh, sewer rates, yeah. to make sure that we had stable rates for a while. And I think that's really important. So part of that is making sure that people know that, you know, we're, we've reached the level where we can provide. You've done a really good job the last four years with your right. wastewater and, enterprise. And people model. have had the pain, and now we're kind of stable. Um, There's some so, more pain to be had just to... <laughs> Yeah, oh, I'm sure. I think. I, yeah, no, no, I know. I'm teasing. I, I, I'm, I'm just teasing. I, but I think the, the what, what's happening now is the rate is generating a capital You're right. reserve, mm -hmm. which which you never which you had have. before. Correct. And the capital the reserve is going to be able to pay the loans, and hopefully we either get the two and a half through USDA or zero even through mm, the DEB nice. thing. That would be really nice. Or something nice. in between. And even, but even, if we, even with those, there's going to be more pain at mm -hmm. some point. Yeah. I know. But if we can get, I just want to make sure we're actually doing something to make sure that we're, we're, we're getting that USGA grant. And I, I feel uncomfortable that we haven't done enough yet. I mean, I've been berating poor Diana. But, this you is know, I know that, I mean, this the is pot is pretty, a small pot. It was leftover money somewhere because it's too small on that. And so if we get like half, I mean, that's pretty pretty generous. So, but I want to make a sure. A 50% grant? No. Fuel. No, half of whatever's what, available, whatever's available in the state. to Massachusetts. Oh, absolutely, yeah. Yeah, you know, that'd be very uh, so, generous. You know, we want to be. I don't want to speculate yet until no, we. No, of course no, not. I mean, no, no, but what I'm saying stuff, is we yeah. want to hustle for this. No doubt. And that will impact how I feel what we can do at I think, the speed. I think there were two phases of hustling, right? There was the hustling pre-application, getting an updated consent order, adjusting the rates to look attractive relative to percentage of median right. household income. Those were things you could control. As soon as we get us off the commitment, um, then I think at that point, then we need to lobby with our, mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, folks that are elected in the, you know, Congress, et cetera. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Those are going to be the people that have the, the sway. And you've got some pretty heavy ones here. In we do. Southern we're lucky. I know. Yeah. And I, but I just don't want to screw it up. I want to make sure that we're on top of this. Well, that's I kind of you know my my inclination is to is to f formulate in the next week or so <laughs> how much time we have uh, a Warren article or maybe two that you know that asks asks lays it out at least lays it out for the people they understand what it is. Um, they can have their say, you know, if they think it's too soon or too late, or I just need, we just need to start educating people on what the true costs are of, of the South Deerfield plant and um, how we think we're going to go around paying for it and in the next couple of weeks come up with some, you know, their, well, the people, rate, yeah. you know, just the, as I heard from the finance committee last night, what's the number? You know, what is it? They want to know what the what the tax rate is on these people and what the you know and it, and it will fluctuate depending on the grants and interest rates and all that but just a you know a good well you want to scare people what, but if it makes us 
more more likely to get more money we, and, and a better interest rate. We better tell people that we we need their faith to to, lo vote to the trust higher us to lump a sum. Even though I don't feel comfortable, except saying that you know, depending on what we get, um, we're going to keep reviewing this, and mm -hmm. it is flexible. I, yeah, I, mean, I don't I'm know not, how you, you I'm you, not going to be wedded into this. How, no, if how I, you if how I you, vote for this, it's only because we've got to look the best we have to look to get this money. And then and, if you and I agree, you have the ability to table an article, as I understand. Absolutely, so, yeah. If we get you know, there, you can or, choose to pull that, right? Of course, and I think also you'd be just doing what you did recently. Is you'd be asking for an authorization to borrow. So you yeah. have the authorization. You never have to use the authorization. You, you can, can always rescind an know, authorization. You can use up to the full authorization. But I hate so, to ask people if I don't have a plan. I know. But, well, I think but we have I a plan. What, I, think, I think if yeah, you don't have I mean, a soft commitment right. by the time the town we meeting have, comes along. Right. Maybe we table I'm it. I'm not telling you what to do, but I would I would probably not move that article forward. Or, or maybe move the second one that talks the about the design, one that just which moves on the planning. So we, you SRF know, doesn't pay for design. Right. You know, the state option doesn't pay for that. Right. USDA will do is structure the uh, the paperwork so that it's eligible in arrear. Right. So you can move forward and just like right. they do right now. That then document. I'm, I'm can okay I, with that. Can I you ask? You have to look good. And maybe I'm, this is you know I, I was always um, thinking that we would. In the design phase, we may have um, a couple of workshops or opportunities to kind of just flush out truly what's going to be in the plant. I mean, we know oh, yeah. about what we're doing, but as Kip said, maybe this is a little bit less. Or we, you know, we talked a little about chlorine and UV and which, you know, just I'd so rather everybody... set the ceiling there, right, and than then set it low and come back and say, oh, whoops, we, we forgot, right, we know. forgot this whole right. other function. But I thought we, maybe we could have some, we you know, that, amend, that we could get the. We can also amend the article. Yes, and we could have people okay. from you're you very know, good the sewer at that. study we could a few weeks ago <laughs> to could you know right. Uh, we could have the sewer study All committee right. guys that or the engineers or Josh and you know everybody that's looked and Bruce has put their time into this and, you know give their advice on what they see or points or you know just I feel like we still have time to work on we're not building it next week we just want to ask okay. for the ability as long as we at least have at least one or two meetings before town meeting so that I have a better feel you feel more comfortable for what we are actually going to do I mean I don't mind arguing to people that we have to do this so that we can get the possibility of more money. I mean, that makes sense. But, you know, I don't want people to say, well, if you don't get money, what are you going to do? And I, I mean, I don't Still have Still have to do here. something. I know we have to do something, but we're going to have to do something different because yeah. it has to be somewhat affordable. Slightly different, though, right? The reason I, I suggest, uh, I don't want to say another plan, but to think about this more, and we need time to do that, is because we do. Do, we argue, do we argue this article before the two million dollars for high school article because I'm telling you people are going to see these dollar signs yes we do Kip. all debt exclusions <laughs> we, we, we have the you have to flush the, the toilets before you do anything else yes, thank you yeah we have you the have ability to, to structure the, the, the articles too yeah uh, one thing we got when we got elected no Go ahead, I, and believe me I don't want us to put money on to flush the toilets yeah. but yeah, you got to flush the toilets Bruce has been up all night <laughs> getting back to it, Bruce, me. you haven't called me, so I'm like shocked. He's been busy well, I've reading. Well, I've tried a couple times, but I've been heading out the door, so I haven't, oh, been, okay. so I haven't left a message. Oh, uh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. uh, getting back to the conversation right at, the, right at this point in time, part of the thing that everybody has realized, and which is quite clear in this report, if anybody had had the time, probably could, is all these numbers are $2,018. Correct. Okay, so it's going to be more next year, it's going to be more the year after, it's going to be more the year after that. The other thing is, if you look at Mr. Prickett's schedule, I believe it's like 2023 before construction would actually start mm -hmm. on your time frame. Well, just say Somewhere in there. It's, it's within a year of that, I think it might have been 2022, but yeah. Well, whatever, by the time, time you do it, mm -hmm. by the time yeah. you design and everything else, so even though you're asking for an authorization, you might be using a small portion of that authorization right now. Mm -hmm. And so your rate, your rates as far as your payback, as far as the big part, is not going to be until after you start the construction, mm -hmm. somewhere down the road. Right. So, uh, and unfortunately, this whole conversation has gone on year after year after year. The cans got kicked down the road year after year after year. And unfortunately, now we're at the 11th hour where we've got to make a decision 
or it's going to cost a, a lot more not to make that decision. Mm -hmm. And, and well, I understand. No decision is a decision, Bruce. Pardon? I said no decision is a decision. Well, it, it's right. going to be a costly decision. It for will. The, and, right. It will. And uh, what's, you know, I don't like it because I'm the same as Kevin. I'm a taxpayer and I'm also a user. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I can see the pike, what's coming down the road. And um, it's, unfortunately, I, you know, after reading Mr. Perkett's report, um, I'm also the, in reading the uh, uh, schedule of uh, critical, whatever you want to call it, uh, that layout. maybe we should consider swapping phase two and phase three around mm -hmm. uh, because it looks like uh, the failure is a lot more prevalent in South Deerfield than it is in Old Deerfield. You do the bulk of the and. Bulk of the uh, well, the chance of regulatory intervention is higher in South Deerfield than Old Deerfield because of because of potential failure. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, you know, so there's some serious decisions now, as far as getting input from the sewer committee. I'll go back on that one, uh, and I'm only here till June 30th. But to this date, I've asked three, at least three times to have a written charge until mm -hmm. I get until I receive a written charge. I am not going to ask the sewer committee to meet. That's fine. I haven't okay. had one. Uh, there, 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 Bruce, there hasn't, we haven't had the information. Right, uh, but I'm just But I'm I, hoping that we can have at least one. Well, now that we have a report and a, and a plan forward, I mean, that, that might, well, know, okay. the charge would be to assess we this would, and give yeah, some advice. Yeah, we would invite and, the sewer yeah. committee because we're hoping that collectively we can come up with a consensus. So, anyway, so now that was my little spiel for the present. So, may I ask some questions? Sure. Okay. Yeah, yeah we got that. All right. Um, okay, one of the things I noticed in there is uh, there's a schedule of four or five phases for pipeline rehab. That is not in any of these numbers as far as the wastewater treatment plant updates, right? No, it is. No, it is. It it's is. in the four phases, yeah. It is. That, that's yep. part of phase one and part of phase... It's part of all four phases. Oh, okay. So what so, we try to do is say, you have some flexibility with your collection system you have an old system, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, it needs to be tightened up and lined and right. dealt with over time, but we didn't want to hit that all at once. We thought it more practical to try to allocate it a, you know, a certain amount of money each year. That may or may not be something you finance. You may decide that you want to just put that in your budget. Mm -hmm. Each year have a line item of X. But it is in there. I think it was to the tune of about a million, million and a half Somewhere. for Old Deerfield, and I think it was like three or four Almost for four, South, right. South Deerfield. Mm -hmm. No, so so that's it, but that four is inside that 28? Everything is in one of those four phases. Okay. And, and, and those four phases, when they get to the actual rate projections, we figured 4% a year inflation for construction, and that's pretty conservative, right? Mm -hmm. Some years it's only two, some, some years it's three, but those $2,018 are escalated out to the midpoint of construction of each of the four phases. Okay. Um, it's a lot to take in. There's a lot. Yeah. Well, I just, I just picked this up last night just before bedtime. Yep. Trevor threw it at me, so. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you slept last night. Ready. Yeah. Yeah. So I didn't have a whole lot of time. I just kind of. I really can't read this unless there's something It's an old about. country lawyer, he's saying. <laughs> so, so. Uh, pages, by the way. Uh, okay. Uh -huh. I, you've already addressed the uh, uh, situation where we may be looking at a three and a half percent rate if, if we get the USDA's against mm -hmm. a two and a half. Um, one of the things that you mentioned is the uh, equivalent dwell, dwelling unit. And how was that derived? So I believe the equivalent dwelling unit discussion in there was relative to what the average water usage is per, you know, per, per, per sewer customer. Okay. We calculated rates under the assumption that your rate structure didn't change. I think that was something we had discussed at workshop level. Yep. Um, there's been previous other discussions about rate structure, old and south, and everything else. None of that was projected as changing in terms of how things were split. We tried to just stick with the average or median customer in terms of what they'd see for changes in rates. Okay. Um. ED, uh, on the USDA point, yeah. USDA makes us normalize your flow and convert everything to a gallons per day per EDU, and that may have showed up in there somewhere too. Okay. Language from that report we used in the preliminary engineering report for USDA. Okay, and ju so. just at this point, just for general public information, uh, uh, you calculate the South Deerfield rate at uh, $769. Uh, the average Massachusetts is 862 so we're already $100 under. 
the average. That's good to know. So just yes, but we're not so, so at the bottom as before. Before our, we yeah, right, were at right, the bottom. Right, we were way down. Right. We were 400 and, or something. And no one would even give us any second Right. No, no, I'm just yeah. saying we're yeah. still low is right. what I'm trying yes. to make yes. an impression. We have of, room. Yeah. Even though people would think yeah, that it's, we've it's gotten very high. still tough uh, for We're people. still low, and there's a lot of cities and towns that are over $2,000 a year. That's true. So, uh, so uh, uh, okay. We've I've just been spoiled over the years is what it is. I, yes, I, I, and I understand that. It all blows up. I understand that. Now, so uh, I guess part of the questions I had was on page 17 and 18 was part of a manhole report. And Eric, you can take your That's okay. He's, he's got his copy. I think in addition to this evening, you know, we talked about doing a workshop in a yeah, week or two. Yeah, that's I the idea is too. We'd like to do a workshop. Mm -hmm. You know, on the drill down and the details too. Yeah, so that was the plan. This would be kind of well. A, these may be something that yeah, yeah. you want to work on. Absolutely. Prior to yeah. that. Yeah. One, one of the things that um, I would like you just to, to look at to give us some kind of an idea of what the impact is too, um, before we have um, our workshop meetings is if um, um, people in town have to pump their septic system, um, they would still have to pay to pump the septic system, but they wouldn't have to pay the you know, the dumping charge. And so if, I asked if about we, that. yeah, if, I, if you looked at what was being pumped in town, the, what would it cost, you know, the, what would be the impact of taking, you know, the sludge that I'm I asked about, about that and, and, and it's, it's, it's too high, right? I mean, mm -hmm. I asked about, oh, could we just have Craig's or whoever yeah, pumps so come to the transfer station yeah. and dump it off? But apparently yeah, the, the potency is too much, right? Well, pres presently right now, they're, they're, it's, it's a twofold. One, you're not sure what you're getting mm -hmm. with no headworks. True. So you could, you, could, you could end up having, and I'm going to say, you pump out a restaurant that 70% is grease. Right. And then you go ahead and you dump it at a rate which would be normal septage <laughs> when really that right there should have been eight times what it was. One. Two. If you go ahead and you take the intake into our plant now, you're going to kill all the bugs. You, right. like, like we've been having issues mm -hmm. where the, the foam comes in, the bugs die, you know, the, the, like the aerator goes and runs to the point that it kicks out. Wow. Now we're having no oxygen. We have yeah. no idea that there is no oxygen going in. The aerator was down for probably about 10 to 12 hours. So trying to bring back our process at that point is extremely difficult. And I'm not talking three years ago, two months ago, I'm talking just last week. Because Thursday it started coming in, Friday was horrible, Friday night when they left, everything was working great, Saturday morning when they came in for their checks, aerator wasn't working, and they started doing their, their tests, and, and the, the terminology that they use goes definitely over my head. But the long and the short is, is, is it's, the bugs are dead. It's right. not doing their job. What and we're not getting a proper process. I was just curious, what happened to the aerator? It's, well, they shut down because you've got so much stuff going in there. The aerators are only allowed to run for so much. And then the aerators know that if I keep running yep. at this point in time right out. now, I'm shutting down. I, I'm going to burn out. So now I've just burnt out a $20,000 motor. Okay. So it shuts down. Because it shuts down. There. But what the problem is, is we don't have the technology to tell us, hey, this is shut down, goes ahead and pings somebody's phone, they right. go down there and fix it. Right. So but again, now, so if we had like hours. a SCADA system, like most others do, which we now have at the uh, lift station, which is required by DEP, mm -hmm. so that may not have happened. But again, it's, it's because of all the small little things that we don't have is, is, oh, is so I didn't I realize, know. I didn't realize, Carolyn, that was my thought too. Well, could we help our residents by taking, but apparently it's the, the strength that you dump off there is so different from what comes Correct. down the high, uh, down the pipes. If, so the short answer is no right now for septage. Right. right. With no head Most of the else. time after phase one, depending on flow conditions, right? Depending on where the plant is relative to rainy, wet season, et cetera. And yes, after phase two, with one caveat, you'd have to accommodate a small septage receiving area. So I think during the design phase, you'd want to kick the tires on. Does it make sense to build, to add on a small septage receiving area? And is there a benefit to everyone being able to bring their septage here? We I, went through I, that evaluation in Orange. The answer was no, but the residents right. wanted to see it. To know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I think we're in the same boat just because 
we're asking the town town wide to support. I get it. Yeah. Um, so you know this kind of improvement. Thing. So yeah. I hear you. To yeah. me, um, this could be a benefit. For, it's a good conversation to be yeah. had. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, I feel that would be something that I would be looking for. No, I agree. Yeah, I just didn't realize it was so. I didn't yeah. understand the strengths. <laughs> no, yeah. no, okay. it's, it's had so it was a roundabout. Yeah, I thought all all of it was the same, but apparently not. <laughs> so anyway, on well, page seventeen, on eighteen. Who has it? I'm assuming this summary is related to appendix C. Dick, did you have a question? Yeah. What? Uh -huh. What? Uh -huh. Septic systems already have bacteria in the septic tanks. That's what gets pumped, correct? Mm -hmm. So it's not like you're dumping raw sewage and raw paper products in 100%. So and when you pump a septic tank, it's generally 15 what I'm asking, so is this representative? There's 750,000 gallons per day going down there. So this is dumped up the other end of the line. Because this is a Well, that's a different and story. A yeah. Manhole, is what you have here. There's a dilution, the solution, the pollution, the dilution. So it would appear that some of that could be done that kind of a system. Well, no, I'm just not sure if that's legal. This is raw data. So this is, this is raw. This is screens this. Similar Maybe the guys might know. What do you think? No, no, there are two plants. There are two plants. The issue Kevin's talking about is with your aeration system. <coughs> your aeration system is completely different than those two facilities. And the organic load associated with septage it gets concentrated in the tank. The solids drop in the tank, and there's a massive. Can you just um, put your mic on a little bit? Because this is very important, I think, for people. <coughs> You have, a, you have an aerobic biological process at your sewage treatment plant. The, sep a, the organic load. The person who can see the sewer plant from his house that's not connected to it. Okay. Uh, weren't weren't you a selectman at that time? No. <laughs> you're going to tax me for building a new sewer plant. It kind of goes against my grain a little that I can't pump that septic. Dick, we're going to look the, into it. I think it. you had the time we're, to connect it when you were uh, sitting here. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're, no we'll, we'll look into it. So, but, no, I um, hear you. I mean, that was a thought of mine, too. I just wow. didn't. I asked it at one meeting, and, and that was the well, answer. I, I, I haven't been looking at three people sitting at the table, and none of them are on the sewer. So, I know. <laughs> this, not, I think yeah, there's a seat right open. No, <laughs> not only... Not only do I want to pump mine there, I don't want to pay for it either. <laughs> if I've got to pay for the plant. And listen, I take care of my system. <laughs> and, and just to kind of go along with that, just kind of keep in the back of your mind, because I know in the past a lot of people have said, well, well, the old, the other system, you know, it got out of control, whole nine yards, it got too big, it did this, do that. It was because of exactly what we're doing right now. We're so right now, about. the plan does not include accepting septage. So now you're starting to think about accepting septage. So I don't know what that does to the dollar amounts, right. but I just want everybody well aware that this is exactly what happened last time, and that is 90% of the reason why you went ahead and put together a committee to make sure this doesn't happen again. Right. So that's why I'm bringing it to everybody's attention right Kevin, here and right now. Yeah. Right. This is what happened before. I just want to make sure everybody's aware it doesn't happen again. Right, but with that being said, right. we just added, or we're going to add 72 homes with three bedrooms in each home, which is 200 two something, two bedrooms, two okay, bedrooms. 140, you know, that much. And that's actually going to help that plant. Correct. And so if you have a dump station, well, I'm just going to say at the highway garage mm -hmm. where they dump substitute, by time, like Dick says, by time it gets down to the plant, it's going to be well, it's, it's, it's not going to be much because even if you had a truckload every day, that's, you're only adding another 1,500 gallons, sure. you know, so. But here's the question I have, and, and, I, and I'll be honest with you, I know like next to nothing about uh, septage. How do I know when, when that hose goes there into my connector and they let it loose, how do I know it's going in there? I'm, I'm sorry. You don't... How, how do I know it's going in? Is there rocks going in there? You know, because sometimes when, when, they, when, they, when they suck out tanks, there's rocks in the bottom of the tanks. Are there, are there other things that are going in there? Do I have a large amount of grease? Now do I have to worry about this grease? In, for the most part, grease you shouldn't be having in a, a septic system because hopefully 
they know enough not to put grease down because it will affect their, uh, their, yeah, their, uh, if, their if you if you put any large amounts down a septic system you're gonna have problems real quick right you know? but if you have a little bit over a long period of time would you still have some and then what sure. does that do to my line yeah. you know because realistically that's where most of our our blockages are happening is a combination of grease and rags or rag material so once the grease and the rag material get in there, you're saying, and I understand that the, the idea of the solution to pollution is dilution, but the other side of the coin is, is now you're going ahead and you're putting something in here that now could give me another backup. Now I have to go ahead and clean five more houses at $5,000 a piece. Mm -hmm. well, you know? So well, these are all things you have to look at at the same time because mm -hmm. it may be everything is very, very good for the long distance but I don't feel comfortable with that through the collection system. I think if anything, personally myself, I would probably have it dumped right there. So that way you can have a screening system. You can have being aware of exactly what's going on. It can go into a secondary holding tank before it actually goes into, sure. into I, our, our plant. You know what I mean? I agree. Because I'm just looking at all the bad things that can happen. Yeah. Because that, that's basically how my mind works. I look for anything that's possible. Worst case scenario, plan for it. And then if it happens, you've already got a plan. Kevin, I so, agree. I think it should be a separate screening area. Yeah, I'm paranoid when it comes to that. I'm but then we could, we would also then, if it's like a lot of grease, you could reject. That, or that, just charge them more money. So you know, because hypothetically, if somebody comes in, it's a town resident, comes in here, it's good and clean. Here you go, no cost because you've already done your 25 percent. All of a sudden, it comes in, you start seeing what's going down in there, and it's really bad stuff. It's going to affect our plant, or it's it's four or five times what it should be of the concentration. Okay, well, instead of free, now it's going to cost you 100 bucks or whatever the arbitrary number is. Mm. You know, but you have to have some flexibility there. And the only way to do that, policies and procedures, and they have to be written. It's a set of yep. rule book you have to make. So when we do this, you have to have a set of rules. So that way everybody knows what the rules are. Mm -hmm. And that's part of what our problem is now is we don't have a lot of policies and procedures for a lot of things we do town-wide. We're getting there. We're getting we're there. Getting there. Slowly we're getting there, yep. but that's, Kevin, that's a valid we had a point. hookup. Bruce, do you have a couple other? I mean, I really wanted to get we this to, to be to high level, but I, I, really quickly, I just okay. wanted to get another date. It, um, right. Is there a time? That we're just kind of oh, yeah, no, they're fine. Yeah, it's fine to ask. I oh. just didn't want to lose track of getting a date before you scoot off. So I guess the last thing was uh, some of these uh, in the back on your critical score rating have a very high rating, but yet they're not red. Is there a particular reason for that on some of the stuff? Which, which appendix? You may recall when we went through that as a group, we came up with a pretty big list of red. Yeah, there was a lot of red. Almost everything was red. You start red, off trying like. to go down the path of doing things objectively and in a vacuum, and then reality ties in. Well, yeah, I just, I just, but I was just wondering because well, we because there is a lot of them that have a Kevin low score Keith that are red, and then some high ones. We, that, that I think they presented that, uh, that list, but I think they, they did orange right. evaluation. But it, 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 was, yeah. it was the engineers that. The engineers, you and Wendy. So and oh, Keith, and Keith was just at that meeting, but we didn't like pick. Now, but, um, but then the ratings we didn't pick what was bad and what was good. Doesn't have an impact on us. We made a list of what was important to us, you know, to town wide, like. Needs, but that wasn't. <laughs> I think it'd be good to sit down for a couple hours. Again, it's flexible. I mean, there was we didn't problems. decide what was good, uh, what was bad, and what but, needed to happen. Well, and I guess as long as you're aware of something, yeah, no, no. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I would have no idea. What was they would have no idea. No, okay. no, it wasn't like that. I guess that was it. He, he, oh, okay. There's a couple of things he said he had yep. to adjust anyway. Bruce, yeah. we're going to yeah. have a meeting. Yeah, Can we'll, we'll, get, meeting we'll get a workshop. And, and Skip's got a question, too, but... Um, yeah, mm -hmm. Oh, a statement. Okay. You want a statement before the uh, date or after the date? So you're going to let Bruce sit? Okay. Sure. So, realistically, when, um, yeah. when do you think... You would need to draft an article this week, next week. What I'm saying to you is realistically the warrant closes today. Mm -hmm. So you need to decide today because your bylaw says it closes 30 days before the town meeting. So 
I'm not sure I'm okay, no, I'm, I I can a make a decision, days. but I just didn't know <laughs> how, how to write the language. Oh, no. I think as long as you vote to put the article on, that would right. be appropriate. Then That's I have, fine. We then, have time, then you've got of a week course, or so to, to get write the, the language. Article. Yes, okay, yes. And even then, it would be the article. We have time to craft a motion. Good. Okay. We've got plenty I'll, of time for that. I just about the dollar need you to, need you to right? say that there's going to no, be an article, I feel. Well, I don't have any problem making a motion to say that we'll be on the article. Yeah. Yeah. And then in the week. Or so we could develop yeah, I mean, the, I need a, a little more directive on that. Just yeah, so the I dollar can, cause, amount. Because yeah, yeah. next week really is your time to have your final warrant yep. done. Um, yep. Can you, question can, you? can you just blank, leave blank the dollar? Yes. Amount? Oh, yeah, not the you dollar amount. You can put anything. sums of money <laughs> okay. in your warrant. Yeah. You do okay, that. that. You'll see in your draft tonight All you right. do that. I'm just talking about the language of the project, like what you're, you know, what you're All funding right. for the project. Sorry, I Kevin, guess. I didn't mean to cut you off. No, 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 no. Question. So the only thing going off of what Dave said was, and it's an excellent idea, is making sure you got almost like a backup plan. So do they have to vote two articles for the same thing, or can you, you know what I'm saying? Right. Well, you had talked about you were going to do but the what I'm saying article is, do, for the do, full project, right. right, and then you talked about doing an article for some design. So, mm -hmm. right. yeah, I mean. So I just want to make sure that if right. anything has to be voted, whether it's one or two or right. whatever, that Yeah, we no get them both. Yes, yeah. yeah. Yeah, we have on a to go through the draft of the of mm -hmm. the warrant. So, yep. yeah, but by the one, end of that time, article, we if, should if know. We, if we vote one article for a blank amount, and we know, then get some indication of what we're going to be doing from based on USDA or whatever, then when we adjust up or down based on, um, if, say, we got no money, then we would just make that amount be the design amount. But if we did get money, and we did get a loan, then what we'd want would be X number of dollars of the project. Well, that would be two different articles. No, that's what I'm asking. You think there would be two different articles? Two yeah. Different why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't I mean, you, you be able to go up or down? There might be a way you could come. Well, you're talking really about two different. Right. One's Ide design, you know, one's the project. projects, right? Ideas mm -hmm. of doing things. I'm not saying about up and down, although you do have something about changing. No, it's okay as long as long as we have. To go up. I don't want people to think that you vote down one, we're going with the other one. The idea is that we need to put it out there to to, to make sure we're hustling for money, mm -hmm. and so it's really important to be supportive of that. Mm -hmm. So actually, you're, what I want to make sure is people understand that they want to support both articles, mm -hmm. and that. They have to trust us to, you know, make the decision that we're only going to go with design if we get no money. But if we do get money, we're going to, we have to make that commitment to move forward with something and that we're going to sit down and decide how we're going to do that, okay. depending on how much money we get and the, and, and the availability. I mean, you want, if we get zero interest, we want to do as much as possible. Mm -hmm. If we get a million or two or whatever... The pot is small, so, and is. I don't know what's going to happen, but I, I would assume the next following federal budget year, there will be no, it will only be leftover money again, a very small amount of money for the nation, um, because everything is going to go to the wall. You know, they're scrubbing. No, the, I mean, money is being, being taken out of, like, NRCS money is being cut to, to go to the wall. So... USDA money, NRCS is part of the USDA. All Can those they build budgets. a circle wall and put a clarifier in it? We could call it a wall. We could call but it a wall. But what I'm just saying, I don't think we're going to get any money until 20, you know, until the following federal year. So I think your your gut instincts are, are probably fair, right? Yeah. Well, Being just based on what yeah, we'll I'm see. working with the with NRCS. Two years we're ago, we didn't think we'd be getting a bite at the apple, and now we are. So. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Right. We, we just know. keep so, and there positive could be a couple, and keep moving forward. You know, there could be another, you know, fifty million thrown thrown off from well, some other project mm -hmm. somewhere. Right. Who knows? But we're not going to have a substantial amount of money for the USDA to work with, probably until after. You know, the, not until the budget 2021 budget, which still would be fine for us because yeah, yeah. we are not moving Fits ahead needs. that fast. I gave up predicting politics and, <laughs> and everything else. Time. Well, no, no so one knows anything. No one knows on anything. What we're working on. Yeah. But I Thank you. Think, I don't think immediately we're going to have some more reading. money than this one pot. This is it. This little amount of money that's available is this all there is for the moment. Probably an appropriate okay. level of concern. Mm -hmm. Yes. So I just 
wanted to suggest that what what I think makes the most sense is for the for the board to put at least at the time for the time being an article on the warrant. You always have the ability to withdraw that article. Mm -hmm. So you, but, do you want us to put one or two though? The two for the shouldn't we do the? You can put one board? on there, and you can if you need to, you can divide it. Mm -hmm. Or if you want to put two, I don't care. Put two, but basically. Let's look at the South well, Deerfield plant. People, well, let's look at the South Deerfield plant. Well, you plant. think people will get confused if we put two on? People are going to be confused anyway. It's a big, it's a big topic. Make it, mm -hmm. make it as simple as you can, but I would put an article out there, or I would start with the, the idea that we're going to put an article out there to do the entire South Deerfield plant. Both phases. Phase, phase one and whatever, Three. whatever we're calling it now. Put them together. A and um, B. The longer we wait, the more expensive it's going to be. We don't know exactly or if we're going to receive any help. But we don't know if we wait another year that we're going to receive any help either. No, so it doesn't do any good to, you know. No, we've got to delay. hustle for what this little amount we have so let's, available. So let's get it out right there. Now. Let's ask for a commitment from the town. And you can tell them that if you don't get what you're looking for, Table in the form of, of uh, subsidies of some sort that we'll be back next year to let you know that we struck out. Yep. Okay. And we're trying well, again. And we'll try again. All right. But at least get, get it out there. And in between now, we've got four and a half weeks, five weeks. We can work out, you know, an idea of what, what it's going to do to the tax rate. And we can look at what the sewer rates are. And then those, those I don't mind working with you guys on. Okay. Uh, and then if you don't like them, then we can scrap it. But let's, let's start. Well, I, I think realistically we have this little pot of money that potentially we can get some, some grant from. And we have to go after it. So I'm okay with the, the doing concern, the phase the concern that I, and Yeah, two. the concern that I have is we got hit. Because we waited too long, and we've yes. got a clarifier that we're going to spend right. a million dollars on. I know. Uh, well, so next year we're going to hit with something else, and the year after we're going to hit with something else, and eventually we'll sit back and say, "Gee, you know, we ended up spending as much money as we, you know, or more than what we would have spent if we'd done the whole plan." No, I know, but I just don't think if we don't hustle for this pot of money now, and people understand, have to just trust us to. Absolutely. And if we don't have a plan, it will in the be works, there's no money for next year. Anyway. If we don't have a plan in the works, if we haven't made a commitment of some sort okay. to spend the $15 million or whatever it is, we're not going to get anything. I know. All right. That's my two cents. Okay. Yep. No, I just so, wanted to make you. sure. The only, the only thing, like Trevor just said, I, the only thing I can say, and I know everybody's going to think I'm crazy, is <laughs> deja vu. I was sitting out there when I was not a selectman, and the conversation was the exact same thing, except for the subject was a school roof. We can borrow $8 million, $5 million. We would have been better off doing it ourselves without getting that particularly. It doesn't apply to this situation at all. You know, we got raked over the coals. Uh, with some management, we were able to mitigate some of that. But I, I just, I just, Doing the project's important, and, then, and getting the funding is, but I, I don't want to rush to do something, you know, just to maybe get the money, you know? Well, but so we can keep going forward and then right, try to get don't commit I just to feel it. Like, don't, But I just wanted to impress it. upon you that there is no guarantee of any money for the following oh, year at I, all. I, I get that, so but you I'm just... hustle for that little bit, at least. My okay. fear is trying to sell that d large dollar amount out to the townspeople. But, Go ahead, Jeff. I'm, I'm sorry. great salesman. No. <laughs> this is uh, wastewater related, but it's more for clarification okay. for the Capital Improvement Committee. Yes. And just quickly, let's recap. Uh, March 11th, special town meeting. Town voters. Uh, recommended to or voted for a million dollars for the clarifier yes to back up on uh, February 13th the capital improvement uh, plan committee voted their five-year plan and within that five-year plan 
there was a vote for, even though there wasn't a written request, we did try to anticipate as far as the committee yep. cost, there is a vote on the 13th, February 13th, for the wastewater uh, treatment plant uh, for a figure of, I believe it was $955,760. Yep. And that figure came from uh, the Stewart, sewer study, David's sewer mm -hmm. study, as far as the cash flow schedule. Yep. Because we figured something need to, maybe needed to be done mm -hmm. for FY 2020. The right. million dollars was FY 19. Right. So we, we voted, the vote actually was 501. And then we had a public hearing on March 13th on that capital uh, plan, the five-year plan plus the 2020 budget. Presented to the select board uh, in the finance committee. Now the clarification part I need is at this point, because it has been a moving target, for FY 2020, that dollar amount of $955,760 is in there. Yes. If, because we had the public meeting, is that plan as is, as far as record now? So if that is, if that number needs to be changed, the only way that can be changed, if my understanding is correctly, would be the select board would have to amend that budget. Mm -hmm. Because we could not come back to the finance, com I mean the uh, capital improvement committee, right. because then you would be changing the plan through the capital, and you would have to have another public hearing. Right. So, which I don't believe you can do at this point. Am I correct at that? So any Probably number, not. so any number, plus there's timeline. So all I'm saying is, I just want to make sure I understand because it'll help the capital improvement committee where we stand. And I think it'll also help the finance committee too, because we discussed this, as we you did. all know, yep. a couple of you were here last night. Yep. As far as finance committee, it'll help us to understand what direction we need to go. So I just want to make sure that I have this correct, that for that number to change, and obviously the future numbers related to the wastewater treatment plant for the next five years, if it has an impact on those numbers, then it'd have to be done through an amendment by the select board. Is that correct? I think that's... I, I believe I, so, yes. I'm do not, I have that? But, um, I don't know my Robert's rules that well, but I think, I think, think that's, that's probably... Rules, no, it's, it's not? not well, I, I love using that phrase by anyways. By <laughs> yeah. rules. Um, <laughs> Jim's <laughs> rules. I, I, I just want to make I th sure I, I think, no, I think the, the, the chunk of money we, we, we put in... Um, Correct me if I'm wrong. We put in for phase one, two, and three in the five-year plan. Right, the five-year so plan. So that does not going to be affected. Right. And, that, and the first year was the cost but of the, the FY 2020 technically, could be. Right. But I don't think it's going to be, would be more because that was, that number is assumes no money from anybody. Right. And then, and it also. Um, and so people by supporting that. Right. Are well, I, that's that's why I just want to understand. I, I don't think FY, we change. FY 2021, we have about five uh, five million. Okay. FY 2022, we have another five million, and FY 2024, right. and that's we assuming have about four million. That's assuming that 13-year plan, right, with no help, right. And that's why it, those numbers are so right. frightening. So right. Yeah. So and, and yeah. obviously that's. The, the five-year plan is so a that's work in it. progress. Right. right. But the You're FY about 2020. The 20, we were trying to figure out how much, yeah, how much and, capital and we I might need in 20. And I think that is what, and that's with no help. And we, and we would be finding out before 2020 started whether we had some help, and at least a soft indication. And yeah. we'd have use of the money from, uh, in 2020, the use of the retained earnings can offset some of that. And I, that but if, so if that number needs to be adjusted, it would be adjusted right. through the select board through an yes. amendment. But, it, but if anything, it to, hopefully it would be adjusted down. I right. think, I think that's right. It would be adjusted right. down. The idea okay. was that we were, it was designed to be no help. That was year yeah, but, one yeah, of good. 13, if I yeah, recall, yeah, yes. from the October presentation. Yes. Yep. Right. And I mean, there were preliminary uh, estimates of interest right. rates right. and everything else. So 
I can almost guarantee that's changed at some level. That was the year one soft cost for phase one. For design, yeah. If yep. I decide to do phases one and three together, I mean, either way, the numbers have to be right adjusted, you know, varied Varied. based on current right. interest rates and sure. everything else. But I, I do understand clearly where that came from. Yeah, okay. and that and was it like made sense first case. To, it made first sense case. to put it in there. It's still it has to be impressed. It's an authorization to borrow, right? Not an authorization to spend. Of course, right. Of course. Right. And it has to be. Made quite clear. Yes. Right. The spending will come several years down the road. Yes. It is not this year. So that I mean, that has to be brought up and emphasized. Yep. yep. Mm -hmm. You're right. And okay. we're still, you know, hoping. But for but if, I just want to be clear with what Jeff's saying. So you're saying that right now the plan, the FY20 plan, is it's going to be brought to town meeting, includes the 955, yeah. but it doesn't include a request to raise an appropriator and somehow fund this one or one and two that we're talking about. No, so we would want to amend that right. plan in For the representation FY2020, when we take to town if, meeting. If gotcha. that, right, if that article should change yeah. or that number should change, then it's going to, I believe, and yeah. I don't know if I'm right, I, I think I am, that those two things would have to happen through in an amendment by the select board. That's something but, that but, the, town meeting. That's right. But at we're the town only, meeting, and that's something that the, the capital improvement planning committee could not go back and try to revote at this. Right, I don't think you stage. need to because you'd have right, right. you'd have other hearings, had a public hearings, exactly. so on and so right. forth. All right, I just want to no, that I just makes sense. To clarify that, makes sense, that make sure that we're all Good. on the same page for that. Yeah. Uh, thank you very much. I I appreciate appreciate it. One last quick question, and I don't know where this falls because I've just been hearing about this. As far as the boilers mm -hmm. in the Deerfield Elementary School, uh, is how is that going to be fun? Does that have that, to come to the capital that was, improvement? That was, was all grant. Green Communities grant. Great, yep. money. all grant Excellent. money. Excellent. Thank yep. you very much. Sure. Appreciate your time. We yep. were we were, Thank you. we were supposed to list it um, under the capital improvement, but I thought it was we should have anyways, just to say that list? you know it was happening. We should have listed it, but list we got the grants. I think they were on. Yeah. They were on there, right? They were on Are they the on list there? At some point, I thought. Kids on the five-year plan, the boilers. No, no, no. They weren't. I, I they were never. Tonight. No, I know, but. <laughs> You're like, where's that coming <laughs> from? No. Oh no. No, no, that was yeah, the energy committee. Energy committee. Yep. Yep. I thought you wanted the grants. I thought you. I thought we voted to have the grants listed. Oh, listed as far as an expense. You you told us you wanted that. That's another meeting. We'll work on that. <laughs> <laughs> so what date? Uh, what date do you think would be? Um, I don't know what your schedule is like, and how many other of these fun presentations you have in the next couple of weeks. You want to do an AM thing like we were doing before? Um, good for you. With probably. Um, well, we'd want to have one working meeting at least, don't you think? Well, at least I would. You mean another meeting like this? To, to, so, no, and like, what are we trying to? Remember, uh, we so. did this before the last time. That was good explanation. Everybody right. got around. Well, had so input and questions. I'm trying to figure out what we're trying to single, achieve. Right. A single so, issue meeting. Right, but I guess the question is: Are we trying to get some more? When you say workshop, I are think we trying to? The only to, thing I really need is, uh, and maybe a discussion for public would be the. Um, the impact, I guess, on the rates and stuff. And I think it, you'll probably need a couple of weeks to do that uh, work or more. Um, I think at the most. I mean, the model is developed. It's just recalibrating it based on new input. Yep. So um, And just really trying to, I think I that's. Know, the, the thought process of kind of doing a staff level workshop and then rolling it out in public, I, I think is a good practice. It works well, I um, think. So I'd much rather have, you know, Kevin and Keith and everybody else. Yeah. You know, staff level hearing the information first, and then and then we bring it. Broadcast yeah, it publicly I think it to the board. And everything. has I mean, it has seemed to move up the, the timeline though. I mean, right. You yeah. know, we can meet maybe not next week, but early the following week. Fine. And then a week and a half after that, so we're looking at maybe a three week schedule between right. being here tonight, and being back in front of you again. Yeah. Does that that make sense? Make sense. Yeah. I'm yep. just thinking a couple if weeks we, ahead of the if we want to have any kind of well, public um, workshop before. Our town meeting, meeting is the 29th. So, so, like so could April you 29th? Yeah. Right. So yes. If we do so a could, public workshop, you know, in, right? We do evening. like the 17th. Yes. Okay. 
Oh, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. What do you what else? Let, me, let me get in on this just to make yeah, sure that we don't have stuff scheduled. On. Okay. The 17th. Okay. April 17th. I did yeah. put two other things on. Um, I'm trying to think if it was a public, any public hearings. Um, I don't know. I thought we get the public kind I think, of. I think it's good. No, I think that would be great. To I think come April 17 sounds good. You know, get them educated before town meeting on yes. this big uh, topic. I do have a couple. And then in my report, I you're had thinking a couple of workshop things, maybe the eighth yeah. or something like that on Monday so or something. The seventeenth like and 29th both work and. Great. The eighth is uh, you want to do the AM on the eighth? Sure. Isn't sure. our town meeting the 29th? Yes. Yeah. Yes. And he's going to come. You're going right. to come to the town he's meeting. Put on my calendar. Oh, thank you. I'd, right. I'd be so if grateful. You don't need yeah. Right. No. I. Right. So um, I'm sure it. there's going to be questions, and it would be really helpful to have you there. Right. Okay. I have a question that since I get both, you, you know, both you guys, the engineers, too. can you explain to me why a channel cleaner would not work instead of a headworks building? A what? A muffin channel monster. cleaner. Why the muffin monster won't work instead of doing a full headworks program? You want to take this one or you want me to take it? <laughs> you can do it. Take it. <laughs> and just the reason I ask. Just a sink answer, Dave. I, I believe. <laughs> if I put those, like, soundproofing headphones on and he'd give you the same answer. <laughs> oh, you asking me if I want to give the answer? So, I mean, the, the key difference is the, the grinders, they don't take anything out. So they just turn like a rag into cheesecloth and it stays in the system. Um, whereas a, a fine screen is going to take everything out down to, you know, whether it's a quarter inch or half inch, depending on what size you put in. That's, that's not what I asked. What I asked is why a channel cleaner wouldn't work instead of the headworks, not a grinder. Well, you currently have a grinder and you have rags galore in the treatment plant. Okay. And maybe I'll, if you're not grasping what I'm talking about. I went and saw a headworks project I believe you designed in Milford, Connecticut. And the guy hated it. He brought me to the next town over where his brother-in-law did the same job. And he had a channel cleaner. And what this channel cleaner does, it fits into our channel. Anything that comes in that channel goes through this screen with a giant auger in it. It pulls all the rags and all the debris out. Anything that's bigger than a quarter of an inch gets right up through. It gets dewatered, squashed, and put into a dumpster. And I saw those down in Mid uh, Middleborough at the prison, too. And I was just wondering why that type of application wouldn't work here. Are we essentially saying the same thing? That's, that's, a, that's a screen. It's an auger screen. That's what we right. proposed here was, was a fine screen. There's different technologies and ways you can use it, but... You want to remove the stuff from, exactly. the, from the waste stream. That's mm -hmm. what I'm saying. And, and this, this thing, when, when I saw works. them operating, it, you know, the water would go through, but you know, this thing just kept pulling everything right up, and, and it worked really slick. So that might have been a Helix one You know, the climber screens are popular too, or it just kind of looks like the front of a cheese grater. Yeah. You know, and it's pulling the stuff out, washing it, compacting it, putting it in the dumpster. I think. And that's mm -hmm. what you guys. Have I promoted. think we're speaking the same language, okay. just well, different dialects. You know, I. But there's a huge cost difference. You know? I think, I, and correct me if I'm wrong, because I, I think what he's trying to say is, can we just do a, a screen and no headworks? Well, trying to I, say? I, not, I, I guess that is what I'm saying. I don't know all the other things in the headworks, but when I screen looked at some normal. of I haven't seen a plan from you guys yet, but the previous plan showed a large tank, and, and it had sediment and stuff like that, where this screen takes most of it part, out. Right. And, you know, and, and I'm not anywhere qualified like you guys, but... You know, three years ago when I got involved, I talked with Keith and he said, now we don't have anything like that. So it just sets at the bottom of that aeration mm -hmm. tank and then it has to be cleaned out. Well, it's been five years since that's been cleaned out. And, you know, I know it might be an issue, but I mean, we can, I, I, I just don't understand why it can't, something else can't be looked at. And, and that's why I'm wondering, you know, what is the big difference and why something like that wouldn't work? And from what I have get from other people in the field is that what I know of a head works with a big bar screen is for large volumes, but since ours is under a million, all of these channel cleaners are, you know, they work for up to two million gallons. I mean, Kevin and I went and looked at one in Nagawam where they had lift, station, lift stations, and then they had one of these uh, channel cleaners right after it, and anything that came through, this thing just pulled it right out, dewatered it, squashed it, and put it in a dumpster. And, and I, I've, never, I've never had an opportunity to have someone like yourself explain to me why that type of thing wouldn't work here. The ones that use an auger and have the rotating parts, yep. they, do, they, work, they work good. 
Yep. But when you get something in that rotating part, yep. the maintenance on those is very expensive. They can't be outside because they freeze. So you're going to have to build a building over it. Uh, yes. I, I did see one outside, but yeah, I, I believe that it should be inside, yeah. So, because there's a mechanical bar screen, to be honest with you, yep. is what really started this whole process, besides, besides the DEP last year. Because, again, I, lo I looked at what we had for monies, and I saw a capital, and I saw $90,000. I was like, oh, great. Well, this is for a mechanical bar screen. I have no idea what a mechanical bar screen was, so I did some research. So I looked at it, and I'm like, all right, well, this is really cool. It goes ahead and takes the material out, whole nine yards. Uh, who's going to be out there all winter knocking the ice off of it? So I was, then it became a building. Then the building became a headworks and blah, 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 blah. And then it became from something very small, which, which I was just trying to get a mechanical bar screen in there originally, mm -hmm. turned into a quote unquote to use numbers that other people use because it seems like every time they use it, it gets larger and larger and larger. The largest number I heard on that last one was $53 million. Now where they came up with that dollar amount, I have no idea. Well, we're not doing that. So you, exactly. You the, the short that's what I'm getting is, is, is we've, we've, we've always been looking for something to take it out of the channel. Yeah. Whether, right. whether it be a mechanical bar screen, whether it be the, the, the fine screen, quarter inch, uh, half inch, whatever it may be. We're, that was the original plan that started this whole thing. You need screening and grit removal, right? We can talk exactly. about the options for those two. Yeah. I, I, and we'll Kip, I really think design. we're talking about the same things. Hmm. Some of the big facilities that are CSO, they do things way different. They're trying to screen things that come into the system like boulders, shopping yeah. carts. I yeah. mean, you'd be surprised what you get in a city. But whether you have 200,000 gallons a day or 2 million gallons a day, what people flush is the same thing in Deerfield as it is anywhere else. And it's getting worse every year. Yeah. So the head works, aside from the second clarifier, the most critical part Absolutely. of the project at the South Deerfield plant. Absolutely. We can debate, you know, item that goes into specific channels. subsets of those categories, but... It definitely isn't grinding because we don't want to keep it in the system. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, I, and, and I agree. You know, yeah. you yeah. Well, yeah. What you just mentioned is, you know, if you're responsible for your septic system, you're really careful. You know, oh, yeah. I mean, mine was no garbage disposal. Right. Okay. right. Yeah. yeah. I mean, mine, nothing perked at my house. Had to do a fancy <laughs> thing. You know, remortgaged our house to do it. You know, I take care of that thing wicked because oh, yeah. I know I'm not. I don't want anything to have to repair it. So how, in, in all the towns and cities that you've worked in, what, what can we do to educate people? Because we wouldn't even have to do a headworks if people were paid attention. Wow. I mean, this yeah, is yeah. what drives me crazy. We're talking about millions and millions of dollars because people are not paying attention. We're poisoning ourselves well, is what we're doing. Or the uh, pump station on Capitol You're always going to have grit, even if everybody was perfect, right? Yeah. That's kind of coming from the system. Right. right. Um, but I'm talking about but the, the flushable. But the honest and, answer is it's not going away. I Greece, mean, when you keep saying it's make getting it, worse, make it better, can like, we do any kind worse. of I mean, educational outreach? They sell these wipes now, like with a picture of like mounting it on the toilet paper. Like, right. you know, I it's, know. it's crazy. They flushable. They, they flush, they just can't need a class action. Town of Great Barrington. I was just going to say, two I feel like we should lawsuit. have a class action lawsuit and, and collect But again, on that's the, another meeting. They, they lost. Actually, <laughs> they did yep. and they lost. Really? Yeah. On the flush? Because of flushables. And they lost because the court said, you can flush it down the toilet, can't you? It goes into the sewer system. At that point, it's your problem. So, in all feasibility, it is a quote unquote flushable. But then again, this just it's this week, in today's only Wednesday, you know, we had a town resident that ended up having to spend a lot of money out of their own pocket because there was three rags in their sewer and it backed up into their house. That was number two, the one that mm -hmm. wasn't on us. So when was you get rags, yeah, they were shopping them back. You know the, you know the, the rag in a box you yep. can get over at Collins. Yep. Yep. Three of them. And they, were, and they, they flushed. They got jammed in there, and it. That that's basically why the whole front lawn got dug up. Sprinkler system, brand new sod. Mm. So somebody spent literally thousands of dollars for three rags in their own house. Yep. And it didn't even make it to the rest of our system. Never made it out of the house. Wow. So, wow. and they don't know where it came from. When you get into the design phase, <laughs> you know, you get to about the 25% design phase and you have a basis of design report, that's mm -hmm. the time where you, you know you're going to have a structure over the pipe coming in. And right. you talk about exactly what you're going to put in there for that, mechanical equipment. That's what I've been saying. Um, we, we get you know to that you're point. putting new lungs and hearts in the aeration system. You talk about... 
what type of diffusers, what type mm -hmm. of blowers, what type of mixers, et cetera, et cetera. That's Those the stuff. decisions get vetted. Right. Um, but I guess that's what makes me so nervous because I, you know, when, when you ask the town to support this, you know whatever, we are going to have a certain amount of cost, but we don't know what our choices are going to be. Well, that's, that's why we have, and you know, an engineer and just, a, you're closer than you think. town fathers to kind of get through and figure this Even out Even tonight together. when we're talking about yeah. seemingly two different things, they're really not mm. yeah. 1A, 1B. Right. I, no, we'll I think what you're talking about them. now, Kip, is actually is exactly what they're talking about. Mm -hmm. It is actually removing it from... Oh, it, but, it, but I also understand where you're coming from is why why else do we have to continue going Why forward? brand A or no, brand no, B? No, no, no. You still have to, like you said, worry about the grit and you have to worry no, about the I, grease, that, which is that's, all part of the headworks. So that's so just so, excuse me, Senator, uh, okay. why I was going with this, and, and this is kind of what, you know, we're seeking your professional help. And what I'm trying to relay is that I understand that there's more to it than just this channel clean, just kidding. But we need to get rid of the grit and the rags. That's the, the major problem. And, and what I'm saying is that the head, the big bar screens and the big pit and all that, that's very expensive. The channel cleaner is very inexpensive comparison. And that's why I want to know why that wouldn't work. I mean, because if, if I was, this was my town and I was going to do it, I'd put a channel cleaner in because I've seen these things work and it seems like a really good solution for a quarter of a million dollars less the building. And, you know, the other alternative is $3 million for this big headworks in the pit and all the piping and building, you know, and that's, and that's why I, I'm having The a costs for what we each just described, they're very similar. They're not, that's where the disconnect is. It's over the technology you described has a very similar cost to the technology we described. All right, well then I, when I, when I look at these phase things, I, I don't understand where that extra money comes from that, when well, it, you talk yeah, about the headworks project. But, well, it depends, it doesn't have to be that big. Well, I, mean, I think it, 25% we nailed all that stuff down, right? Right. Yep. Um, so I don't mean to interrupt, but I just want to confirm that you're talking about um, a small, that small work group we meeting. Do, we do a small 8th. work group at, on the 8th and, and then and the 17th. How about, I'm, I'm just nervous we're going to run out of time, but look how much time we spent talking tonight. Could we do 5 o'clock on the 17th so mm -hmm. we have a couple extra sure. minutes? Sure. Is that going to be okay, Dave? I mean, if it's okay. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. All Great. right. Uh, on, on the this, 8th, are we thinking 8 a.m.? Sure. Okay. All right. I can make the 8th, but I'm not going to be on the 17th. So I just want to make sure we have plenty of time to get our classes. act together okay. for town meeting. Trevor. With the jail, What's that? So. I just are you okay? Make sure we have enough time yeah. to get okay. You'll know. It makes sense. Yep. Okay. Keep and, and, and to get answers, some answers. Did you, did you have an issue with the 8th? Did you say 5th? The 8th, no, I'm good on the 8th, but the 17th. You're going to be teaching? Yeah, I'll be teaching up at the jail, so. Okay. That's okay, Kevin. Or what not to flush. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Bruce. Actually, I do put those in on my If you're, if you're, you'll know what's going on by the, on the oh, meeting exactly. of the eight. Exactly. Yes. I'm back up here. Hey. Okay. This, you uh, gave him more time to read. <laughs> the last Too much time to end this meeting yeah. quick. The, the other thing that was mentioned uh, just uh, was the uh, um, these uh, rates, but the other thing I forgot to ask before, which I didn't see in that book, and I, there again, I don't know what your final scope of work was determined between on the initial meeting, but was it develop and evaluate wastewater treatment uh, alternatives and evaluate up to three process configurations? Uh, was that eliminated from your original tasks, or because this was your draft for March 21st? Uh, uh, March 19, 2018, revised March 21st, 2018. And we can certainly add those alternatives that show kind of a, a significant change in terms of how you handle your wastewater at both facilities. It was pretty clear early on when we went through this that that was going to be a that was going to be the shock and awe alternative. So you're looking at a, whatever it was. No, okay, so that's the, 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 alternative. Okay, so that's been we deleted. We talked about all. building an SBR facility um, mm -hmm. at one or both of the plants old, old Deerfield. Um, yeah. you know we looked at those and you know the, the cost of throwing it away and building something new is going to be probably three times four times the capital plan easy I, I think we want we wanted it we wanted the most practical oh, right that, I was just wondering yeah. whether that had been deleted off and, of and, the original the reason, task right and I wanted a timeline that was yeah. Yeah. affordable I can give you another document for USDA we Minimal. had to include those oh so, so. It, it, it does show them in there and it's a pretty 
ugly comparison. Oh, okay. Well, I, did, I didn't see them. I didn't see them in the book, and, it, and I'm just looking at. What if the I told you we spent twice as many hours so, as we budgeted, will you feel better? No, no, no. <laughs> uh, the other thing is is the projected future wastewater rates, which you just discussed. So I know, as a sewer committee, we had recommended that uh, a serious consideration be given to equal uh, residential units because the way our system is in town, uh, going by past rates. There is a very substantial uh, amount of minimum use users. There's also a fair amount of apartments that have one connection. And usually most of the cities and towns that have an ERU, one apartment is one unit. So what you've done is eliminated, well, we have a 14 unit house over there that is considered one user. It has 14 apartments. So you've eliminated all those as potential users as far as distributing the cost in a fair and equitable uh, situation. So I was wondering what the Board of Commissioners had ever done with that recommendation from the uh, uh, Sewer Committee when it was active and whether that had been conveyed to Mr. Prickett. It has. I mean, we've discussed it, and I think we're still we're, hashing that around a little bit. Um, yeah, I think one of the things that... I don't want to say scares me, but provides caution. You know, Great Barrington has kind of a comparative sample. They have a fixed fee per EDU for wastewater. Um, it works really well with what you just described when they have yeah. uh, kind of those mixed use apartment slash restaurant buildings, et cetera. Works great in those cases. Really tough on Unfortunately, the what it really kills is it kills the senior citizens because they tend to be at like the 25th to 50th percentile and they end up paying 100% of the ERU rate. So unless it's a hybrid system of well, EDU plus usage, then right. I well, just don't want to shift the burden back on those that have been most vocal in Deerfield to date. And, and I well, think unfortunately, unfortunately, we also have another group that can afford it quite substantially, and that is in the, that is in the yeah, yeah. minimum usage mm -hmm. category. Understood. And, we can carve and unfortunately, yeah. you, you know, there, in any system, I don't care whether it's a usage rate or whatever, there's winners and losers who have to try to figure out what is the best for the town. So, well, that was my. We have input. those rate structures kind of developed from two years ago. So, I mean, I'm sorry, Bruce. I feel them. very strongly there are just some people in town that, you know, some of our senior citizens that, you know, only flush the toilet a couple times a day just to save some money, and I don't. I'm not transferring any more debt to them. Oh. Well, you're also transferring uh, more debt, for, uh, a lot of debt from people that can really afford it too. You'd have to look at it. We uh, have to look a, at a three -tiered it. Three-tiered rate structure. Right. Where you'd have to have right. residential, um, that may be commercial, looking and institutional. At, looking at in the future, I think. I mean, yep. Not right I'm, I'm just saying that. Is that I'm, is that I'm, an option? Of course. Sure. I'm I'm not going to transfer people to a minimum users of, of our senior citizens. That's all. Your options, however you choose yep. to consider yep. them, are some iteration of the uniform unit method, right? Yep. Either straight yeah. usage or, I know. You know, or a, a as hybrid. we suggested, some kind of ERU, EDU, I mean, same thing, um, yep. allocation or, or a hybrid. And right. That, and that's something right that, or wrong aside. Right. And that's something that we should talk about because, you know, even like what Bruce says and, and what you're saying, there are situations where you say if you charge more for commercial rate, well, you know, you don't want to hinder all the businesses. But exactly. A lot, of, a lot of the small businesses, they don't use a lot of water anyways. But right. then if you take a business that is... Uh, their usage is detrimental to our system and it costs us a lot more, then they are the ones that should be paying more. So, you know, they're going to use more water, they're going to pay more. Yeah. You know? So you're not really that. hurting the, the small businesses, you know what I'm saying? So that's you can just, dive pretty yeah. deep if you want yeah. to. I would suggest that Maybe and I don't have a problem first spending time. Gonna, right. You know, after yeah. we get through some of the big. Yeah, you know, I, I agree. It does. It's not written yeah. off. Yeah. And I, okay. I, 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 just, I just want to make. But I'm just telling you up front yeah. that I'm not supporting anything that will transfer back. I'm to, just asking yeah. whether it's still on the table. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank it you. is. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, Bruce. All right. So thank you guys. Yeah, I really. Oh yeah, I really appreciate you spending three hours here with us. So. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Have a great night. Safe trip back, and appreciate all your work. Ready to go home? Oh no. Yeah, no, we got a whole meeting oh, to go. Jesus. Um
Okay, let's see. According to my notes, we're on you review and adopt the Select oh. Board 2018 Annual Report and Publication. Yeah, how does anybody... Which I haven't read. I haven't yes. read. Okay. Um, well, I, there was a mixture of stuff. I heard that you stuff. made it. I made it. Yeah, I was afraid. changed it. I was and afraid. Then she changed it. Yeah, I was afraid that it wasn't going to get, um, you know, like we were running out of time to get something in the thing. And, yeah. you know, I just really wanted to kind of get a few things listed that, you know, that we've done for the year. Some things. It looks like a novel. <laughs> Well, it feels, like, it feels like a novel. I'm kidding. Uh, I know. It's like, wow. Um, it's a novella. Yeah, of course. Okay. Sure. Yeah, yeah. For Just now. know where it is. is know it, where it is. You mean permanently? No. <laughs> it's been <laughs> Yes. Bruce, no, it's you. been signed out to you. <laughs> yeah. We know. Yeah, we have we know public where you record live. that you're walking away with one. <laughs> no. Just put my name on the thing here. We will. <laughs> Good night, guys. Oh, you might want to mark it up. That's what I'm thinking. Good night. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for looking right. at it, Bruce. It Thank you, Jeff. Well, that's fine. So um, I, I kind of went, what I did was I went, you know how I keep all my books, right? Yeah. So I went one Sunday and I just kind of went through that whole year and yeah. just kind of started Which pulling out you. stuff to see what was here and what we did. And I'm open to any changes. I was trying to do it. I just did it by month because that was the easiest way to kind of do that. But... Um, you know, when I got back to October and December, there's only a few things, but you know, I just there's so much you could list and not list. But I just thought it was a good capture of where we're at, and you could always add more things to it or not. But um, I thought it was pretty good. I I kept it for the most part. I just, did you change I, a few things? Great. I did I change I'm glad. some things just to I think you know just the language, but also Thank I added you. things or augmented if I Perfect. felt they yep. needed to be. Or um, I I kind of also I think in the end sort of. There's been so much going on. I don't right. know if we captured everything I can't. in the we last didn't. We definitely October didn't. through December. I but, know, that's been a blur. Um, but, right. you know, there's certain big Looks stuff. Looks good to there. me. We'll have a motion. Uh, I'll make the motion. I haven't even read it. But yeah, if there's anything, I mean, the in the next yeah. week or so, if you need to yeah, change absolutely. something, just, yeah. please, it's not gonna, please feel go free. To, there's no it's not is it something to, we even need to vote on? Um, I just would. I just basically wanted you to all yeah. have consensus that you'd seen this report right. and this is what's going to be published. Okay. Yep. Okay. So, so what I'll do with any is minute, I'll, I'll with go any home changes and, read it tonight yeah. and return it tomorrow. Yeah. That'd if you have fine. anything you want to you change, know, I was great. Missing, what I was missing. Was there was the, like four, three pages you were missing. No, I was missing um, uh, 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 the April and August. Yeah, I had all your mosquito work and other stuff too that was not. Yeah, I don't know no, what I, happened. It didn't. Yeah, print. so that would be print. great, Carolyn, if you could check yeah, on that. I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll do that and I'll return it tomorrow. Okay. Perfect. Excellent. Sounds good. Um, for our meeting, um, our one o'clock. Meeting. When I see you in the or, afternoon. No, no, three thirty. Three thirty. Yes, I'll yeah. see you then. Perfect. Great. That'll be great. Thank you. Okay. Three thirty. I don't um, need to be there, do I? No. No. Okay. Uh, tomorrow <laughs> at three thirty is. Um, let me just look. That's our um, MVP. Um, like Diana and Chris and I are meeting. Chris Curtis. Okay. And oh then my we're God, then for. Okay. Then for Did April 1st, I mean, April, no. what's the date in April okay, we're going to do it? Don't know. I know, that's what I'm oh, oh, we, oh, after the Farm Bill workshop, we were going to have a core team meeting on the, uh, at 1 o'clock on April 5th. On April 5th, I got that. I have the Farm Bill workshop set up here from 10 o'clock to 12 o'clock, and that's just to go over the Farm Bill with um, anybody that's interested um, so that we can figure out how to get dollars out of the farm bill for um, to, to, to down for landowners, for any programs. We're, I'm going to have NRCS com. Um, we're we're going to have. Do they give hay farmers money? Yeah, you can. Really? Yeah. All right, I'll be there. All right. Good. No, seriously. Okay. It's, it's, right. to, it's how, you can, um, how you can access the farm bill, the new farm okay. bill. Okay. It's a five-year farm bill, so it's you know it's important to come. So let right. me address the next one because yes. I'm a little embarrassed here. I have not had time to write anything. Um, right. Well, and the reason I've let me waffled a bit on right. This so let me I, let me just say why I put this on here. I, I really um, the treasurer wanted to just remind you, or the collector, I guess it would be really um, that. We don't have a second half sewer commitment for Frontier right now, which right. means we haven't given them a bill right. for the second half of 19. Oh, God. So and we're we not really talking before... about an abatement right now. We're really talking about getting them, them a, bill. a second half bill. And we have bill. to do the bill and, before and, the uh, And uh, let me explain where I was at okay. and where we, where we are at. And I thought, so the last time I discussed this, you guys felt okay with it. Um, so, and where, where it was, where they, they have a pipe coming into the building, they have a separate pipe going out. Yeah. Um, to the ball field. So we were going to abate everything that went out to the ball fields. 
So, and, and the, the way we would do that is we have their October 1st reading, and then the following year we get their October 1st reading, and we have the readings um, off that irrigation. We know what the usage is into the building, so whatever the difference is is what we would abate them. And then we thought uh, there was discussion around is, is do we, you know, with all the other residents, we don't do it per, do, you know, per gallon exactly that, and I'm thinking there are other, in, other costs that come into that fact, and should we abate, um, should we take that number and abate 80% of that? So that there's, you know, as we give everybody, you know, everybody doesn't get a bill in the winter time or summertime that's more than or 20% of their summer bill or winter bill. I have that reverse, but whatever they use in the winter time um, gets, you know, they figure what, whatever that number is for a resident in the summertime, they don't get charged any more than 20% of what they paid, more than 20, you know, over 20% of 120% of what they use. So should... I thought it was 125. Or 125. Close yeah, enough. Okay. It's close enough. Uh, no, so, I just want to make No, 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 it makes sense. Yeah, we're, we're like sending out. So, so that, right that figure, um, you know, it, because we're, we're, we're assuming they're using some outdoor water and this and that. And, and it's, it's not an... This whole thing is not an exact science. It's not to the gallon. So and I'm afraid abating 100% of what goes out is truly not accurate to what we're doing to everybody else either. So I felt like a fair amount might be 80%. Um, we abate 80% of what they, what they use because most of it goes out to the field. And that would cover some of the other maintenance costs we have and all the other stuff. So we're not abating completely everything, but we're doing a pretty good fair. Actually, I'm, I'm okay with that. I, I just, it's less than what they were paying. It's a whole lot less than what they were paying. I you know. know. I don't know. You know, we, we brought this up because we... I don't know why we brought it up, but yeah, we, we, we were, were forced we were to bring it spot. up. We were forced well, to bring it up by the sewer committee. I know. So I now know. you would be changing. Um, so I guess the question is, what what is the second half bill supposed to be? What, so what is the, the second, value of the second so, half bill? So so, so what it is is um, you would um, the first bill they pay in full, which is a spring bill, because most of that is winter usage. Almost all of it, maybe a half a month or something, they put on irrigation. But we catch that in the second half. So the second half bill is everything they used, um, less 20%. So we take that dollar amount, whatever we would bill them, and, and uh, whatever that bill would be, um, we, we uh, abate 80% of that bill. Does that make sense? Okay. Well, I think I, I, it, may, it may for the future, but I guess for now it's a little confusing because we have we, there is no bill. No, so. but we know what their usage is. Okay. Yeah, so, that's no. So we yeah, we know all that. We can come up this. with a bill very okay. easily. Yeah, okay. we know what they their usage was. Okay. And we know what the October rate was, and the um, and we'll know what this uh, you know what last October's. Um, okay. We have the readings. As long as we can, as long as we can articulate we it can. for the for the to be able to articulate it to the collector so yes. she can do what she needs to. And, and then also, um, you know, how that relates to the other, you know, other entities in town. I know we still have discussion to do on that, but I just, this would get this one out of the way. Right. Yes, I agree. Can, uh, so I'm fine with that. Do you want a motion on that? It would be good. I think it would be helpful. Yeah. So, so Okay, we make have the motion the and I will second so it. So make a motion to... Um, to con construct the frontier sewer commitment for the fall billing to be a um, a rebate of of eighty percent of their usage out to the fields, and that's or for the summer usage. Yeah, but I think it's a, is it a fall bill or something? It's a fall bill, right, for the summer usage. Yeah, yes. fall bill for the summer usage, and it would be um, based on October first. To October first irrigation readings that they that they provide to the town. Okay. I second that. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. 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 All right. I'll do my best to see if and I, I will work with that. you and, and Barbara. Barbara on that. That'd be wonderful. Yep. Thank you. I just think that's the fair um, way to do that. Because Dick's it's here. Less than what they've been paying. Yep. Since Dick's here, could we jump down to the uh, nomination of the animal inspector of animals and the building dis um, commissioner? On. So okay. you don't have to stay. You don't want to bring your pillow. Well, I'm I'm worried. A poor Dick is. It's long. It's been a long day. It's a long day for him. Which is why I did that. I'm trying to be sympathetic, Dick. <laughs> Sorry. Oh. Okay. You only allowed two. Well, the animal tracker. I forgot that one. Okay. 
That, I had put that's that a on. state appointment. I actually had, to be honest, I hadn't put that on the first agenda that I posted, but I did add it after because uh, it was timely and it needed to be a nomination yep. made by. So you don't first. mind doing that again? No. Not okay. At all. I make a motion that we appoint Dick as our inspector of the animals. You can't. No, nope. you're just well, nominating. I mean, we're nominating him. Yeah. I'm sorry. You're yes, nominating. we're nominating yeah. him. I'll second that nomination. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Um, thank you, Dick. Thank you, Dick, for doing that. Uh, I really appreciate it. Uh, uh, that we have to go to that meeting, that Tim Cahill meeting. He's going to talk about rabies. We're going to a meeting tomorrow. Next, next subject, I, I dropped in all your mailboxes, all four of you, copies of uh, tattoo regulations. Yes. What I'd like you to do is simply review them, schedule a public hearing for it, so we can change errors and omissions, so we can get that adopted. Okay. Um, um, I, I, I did, um, Meredith has a couple suggestions. Meredith O'Leary from the Department of Health, we can bring it up at the public yep, hearing. I, at, the, at the public, after you have a public hearing with public input, then you can make suggested changes to that and you can adopt the regulations. I think it's kind of way overdue. Well, mm -hmm. the, these are the most comprehensive and um, the most recent. I, I've gone through them multiple times over the past year or so. Yeah, just I Just hasn't come up. Just needs to be done. Okay. So if you can just, Thank set, you. just set a hearing date, we'd be, we'd be great. Okay. Um, uh, do you have a, are, when are you back in town? You're, gonna, you're only going to be gone next week? Just a couple of days. Okay. A few days. Maybe we can. Um, uh, uh, not the 17th. Uh. Oh, no, no. Well, we have to. Well, I guess. I, so I, I want to be clear. You're talking about um, the. Uh, right now, you're talking about the model, uh, the tattoo regulations. Correct. Yeah. Okay. So Far right now, we don't have regulations. We have no. a model. We do not have regulations. Right. Right. So this who's going to craft the draft We're regulations gonna use for Deerfields? The we're going format to use Northampton. In Northampton format. Okay, but who's going to put the regulations together that say Town of Deerfield on that we can have available for the hearing? Okay. Because that has to happen yes. you know, prior to the hearing so they're yes. available for inspection. Actually, Priscilla will take care of it for me when she okay. comes in. Okay, excellent. So I just want to make sure we allow yeah. enough time for that. Yeah, yeah. should do okay. that. Um. You shouldn't take very long to do this. No. No, I mean, that, that's going to be very quick. Shouldn't It should be very quick. Suggested changes get made, then you adopt some regulations. And if the regulations aren't adequate enough, it's no different than the tobacco regulations. That you can't go back a week or month or six months later and adjust them. But we need some regulations to protect the public health of. Uh, Is April 24th enough time, or do you want to do something different? Um, as long as the. Uh, it's not. It's not. Critical when you right, do it. Right, but I'm just thinking, yeah, because yeah, I was thinking the 17th, we're going to have the sewer no, one. No, yeah, we have, you I already have other things scheduled exactly, on my report. If you look at yeah. my report, you'll see I put it, April 17th, April it, 17th, April 17th. Right, so the tw <laughs> that's what I'm thinking, the no, 24th. No, we at the earliest. Trevor will probably be May 1st. Yeah, May 1st? Even okay. May 1st. Would okay, can, that's can fine. Can we do it May 1st? That's yeah, fine. Because we have a we okay. have town meeting. Yep. We have a lot. Yeah. So okay. we're going to do body art regulations on May 1st. Okay. 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 Next, next subject, a little bit tougher. Hiring a building commissioner. I want to fill you in where I stand with the building department as of today. I have approximately 230 permits have been issued since July 1st. I've got 120 annual inspections on buildings that are done during the year. Okay. I have two solar field projects that have been approved by the planning board that are going to come into town. I've got a four and a half million dollar renovation on another commercial building in town. I've got two marijuana places that are going to open in town and a third one that's going to the planning board. And I've got eight condos under construction now and 22 have been sold, pre-sold. So I'll have 14 more condos to, to go and four more single family houses to go this year. So I can't burn up the rest of my twilight years <laughs> doing this, okay? No, I so know it's seriously. imperative that you hire somebody so with suspicion. So if you're saying you want to take some time off, you don't have enough to do, you're going to stretch I, the weekend <laughs> thank a you. little bit longer? <laughs> so Dick, I just want it's, you it's to know kind of how imperative that you hire yes. somebody and hire somebody that can manage this. And 
uh, just run through, it's not possible to get a part-time person to help fill in because it takes more work to follow up and right. to look for errors and omissions than it's, time. yeah. It, it's gotta be done and it's gotta be done promptly. Uh, I'll just give you an example. I, I didn't bring the roll out here, but the roll is eight inches in diameter floor plans today for this four and a half million dollar commercial building. I had a guy drive all the way out here from Maynard, Mass to start reviewing that plan with me. I laid it in the desk. We didn't get past page one. The architect made three serious clerical errors in page one. He used the wrong building code. That's from one code back. He's only two years off on his code. Yeah. He wrote on the other side that the plan wasn't for construction, and he wrote on the other side it was for permitting. Right. Um, I had to roll them up and give them back to him. When I get a plan from Deerfield Academy, for example, we have preliminary meetings with engineering people, mm -hmm. with construction workers, and all the above are on site. This particular instance, the architects from New Jersey. I know. It's a lot more supervision. The building inspectors hung out to dry here with supervising this to, yep. to look for those errors and omissions. So. I know, wicked. I'm, so I, I, I can't my, believe it got that's stamped. That's my plea of the night. Okay. Yep. And I wouldn't be out after dark if it wasn't for that. Yeah. Okay. I know. Yep. We get it. We're, we're going to do something on it. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Dick. Right, why don't we just table? I just want you to know we really, we'll really we'll appreciate yep. everything. We'll go back to our thing. Okay. okay. Thank Thanks. you, Dick. Thanks, Dick. You want me to hang around? No. No. You I, don't, I think we're good. Yeah. Get some rest. Thank See you. See you tomorrow. Okay. We'll go back up to the reviewing of the FY20 budget. Oh. Well, so I guess um, Brenda's been uh, out sick this week. Mm -hmm. So yeah. um, we'll I guess week. I really just wanted to have a discussion about whether there is anything. I think you guys had talked a little bit with the Finance Committee last yeah. night. Yeah. Are there things that, as I'm putting the, the warrant together and the budget, are there things that you feel would want, that you'd want to have in there that's different than what the Finance Committee is recommending, I the guess, would be only the only th things I need to think we need to talk the about. The only thing, really. you know, is, is us, obviously sewer stuff, which will work out, and everybody's aware of that, it's a moving target thing, but um, the only other thing in the budget high level that I was looking at is, is the capital planning, the capital planning department put in, a uh, committee put in $40,000 to begin the work on the, the common or complete streets and um, just looking at the re the back of the napkin stuff from Vinod from um, time bond is that you know probably looking more at like 55 instead of 40 and my only concern is um, I just don't want to be you know we're, we're looking at paying off you know the maybe the pickle factory loan. We're looking at other things where we're like, okay, we'll take this, cat. well, it's, you know, let's big, bigger items to move things around. And I just don't want to get caught in 2020 in like September that uh, of, of 2020, like, oh, we needed another $15,000 for, to, to finish the design work. And, um, uh, you know, $15,000 is a lot of money, but it wouldn't be spent if it wasn't needed. And I just, I just didn't want to get caught short and not being able to do anything. And it's re really critical to, to figure out those, those crosswalks and what we do with the sidewalks so that we can just make those paths. I'm not looking for a complete transformation. I just want the pathways safe for ADA. When I looked at that, our old veteran trying to speak there, at Memorial Day, I mean, it almost fell over because there's nowhere to walk. The sidewalks are horrendous on that common. Mm -hmm. And if we're going to hold things there, they has to be safe. So, and I don't want to redo them until I know that, like, they line up with a, a current ADA sidewalk. So, the only request that I had personally was maybe just to raise that. And I, I understand the reason of the 40 and then the following 40, and, and I get all that. I just am I'm concerned that... Um, I just don't want to get caught short with not enough to complete what we need to complete for that year. So not that we would end up, it may, 
spill over to the next year and we don't spend anything. But Are you um, saying there's $40,000 allocated for design work? For, yeah, well, it's to, to do the, com, it's the matching money for the Complete Streets right. grant that we get. And so it's, it was it was 10% of possibly the 400,000 that exactly. we get. But I'm afraid like 10% might not be enough because we're, tie, we're kind of throwing in the right. common part too, right. which is like maybe another 15 grand so right. that's my concern of like I, I we can do the sidewalk but I, I want to make sure we have enough money to do the right. things that people are asking what, why for. don't we um, why don't we put that on the list to amend? just to discuss yeah to I mean, I'm not saying it has to happen or no, no, no. I want to get people no, I want to hear what yeah you know what the town if the town at town meeting everyone says right. find the way it is right. Well, I'm just doing the will of the Carolyn's people. Carolyn's saying you could propose an amendment, and if yeah. you can have discussion on the amendment, and if right. it passes. That's the only thing I and, ask. And Other so, than that, I'm, um, I'm okay. We're, I'm assuming we're going to have a joint meeting. Yes. Ne when? When's that? With uh, the finance, finance committee? We typically do right towards the end. Yeah. yeah. You know, I, yeah. in so, April. So why don't we put that on the list for amendment okay. potential? Okay. And then um, the only other thing I was concerned about is I want to make sure that the 350th birthday right. gets right. Yeah. on right. there. Exactly, yeah. Well, I think it, it was... And did you want to have a different you amount? A, but though? it wasn't. The Finance Committee didn't recommend oh, it. Oh, they didn't recommend it. Okay. So no, I, just, I think they actually... I think we figured out, Carolyn, they actually did because they... It was that was the one I think that had the abstention. Oh yeah, everyone abstentions vote. Everyone but it, abstained. it turned out that that, that passed okay. according to them. Um, but I guess the question was, did you think that was going to be a sufficient amount? Oh yes, no, because okay. we we um, what what we decided to do is we're going to fundraise yeah. half of our budget. Okay. And so what we're going to do is 10, 10, 10, 10, and then twenty. So we're we're. We have a budget of a hundred. We're going to Raise do fundraising 50. events for half of that, and then um, ask the town to come and up maybe with half. Spend it we, all. You have to and we don't have to spend to right now. We are budgeting for FY twenty. Yeah. The event is in twenty three. So okay, you don't the, have enough where time. you how you just laid that out? You well, don't have enough time to get 10, the money. Ten, ten, and twenty. Because I I think most of the events are going. I mean I don't know. You might be paying for a lot of the events in 23, but you're going to be wanting to plan them in well, 22. Well, we opened the donation account so we can already accept donations. Okay, mm -hmm. so there was already donations in there. And um, so we would spend, the idea is to spend the donations down first right. on everything because you're, right. you know, and the budget is just there so you can keep moving ahead. And, and then, I mean, from what other towns have done is that they actually they always spend down the donation account and then they went to the town appropriate money and there was always money left over. What, what kind of things do you spend money on? Just... Well, I mean, you have your parade, you have events leading up to, I mean, we don't, we don't have a solid schedule yet. No, I, I, I But understand. looking, looking at you all like the towns, we've had all thing, the like yeah. different towns come Fireworks? And, and yeah, you have and fireworks. You, 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 well, fireworks, I see. No, but we have all the different towns that came and explained their celebrations and how much. And, and we decided that Hadley was the outlier, you know, the 300,000 budget. Oh, they had 300,000? They that? had 300,000. Holy but, Did they spend it all? Uh, yeah, I guess. Oh, wow. But it, uh, Sunderland and Conway, every, you know, generally the 100,000 was the correct budget. But both of them had leftover money. Good. That um, they could turn back to general right. fund. Right. So yeah. And you used down your donation account. And, First. And stuff was donated, you know, quite well. Yeah. I mean, once you have your, your events together. Right. People you, start getting And your schedule, them. then you can get do more donations. But you have fundraisers. You, you know, you have to have some money up front for, like, you know, designing your logo. Yeah. We're, we, we have a designer, hopefully, for free. Cool. But... Um, you, your logo, you need to start like buying like t-shirts and stuff mm -hmm. up front and then you sell them so yep. you make money right. or, or like beer glasses okay. or whatever. Well, you when, can sell beer well, glasses. Don't you think our seven, town seal with just the year and say 300 or 50th anniversary under it would be sufficient? Ooh, we, I mean, you can come to maybe, the meetings. Maybe, maybe. Maybe that's what we um, end up with. But 
I, Sunderland I, I, had that love lovely. That seal. Remember, yeah, that Sunderland nice. had that lovely seal. They did, yeah, with the butter, butter ball. Celebrating 300 years of community. Yeah. And, I mean, it was I really lovely logo. Pin. Berniston had a really nice logo and, you know, right. meaningful. So we don't know what we're going to end up with yet. It hasn't been decided. That's part of the process. Uh -huh. Well, I can just see this, you know, town of Deerfield, Massachusetts on the bottom, put 1673 to 2000. You can keep coming to the, you can come to the meetings and... I don't like my ideas. Why? That's one of the ideas, actually. <laughs> okay. But... All right, so All we're right. not going to do anything more with the budget? I... I, I'd wait until Brenda's yeah, back. Yeah, I mean, I think that, I, I, I mean, my understanding anything? is we're in, we're in a good position as far as funding, but um, but as you go through the warrant, I've marked off things. I yeah, mean, you need to decide about some things that are in there, so that's part of the curious. budget. I was just curious. I was looking at this um, library budget. Mm -hmm. Can you get, what is the, under the line item of books, audio, and video? They just buy books every year? So they're, they're tasked with, uh, the state to. gives them money, and they have to spend a portion of that if they're in the library program on books and those things, they have to buy so, those. So this is like a match to what they get? Yeah, so yeah, I think they if, if that, So they spend a half a million dollars on books and videos over the last five years? Could be. It wow. has to do with their library aid, how it, yeah, a how portion of it has in. to be spent. And every time they change salaries or change their budget, that portion changes, so they have to change that portion. So yeah. I know Just that. That's a lot of books. Yeah, it sure is. Not the videos. Really. Well, Okay, let's uh, move on to reviewing the draft uh, FY20 annual town meeting warrant articles. So I don't have them in, in um, any type of final version, but I just wanted to go through and um, just verify whether you wanted some of these things to appear again. Some of them look like... Um, Where is it? Where I'm trying to find them. Wait a second. Oh. Maybe this is the draft me. Oh, here we go. Okay, yes. got it. Got okay, it, got it. so in Article 2, um, are those amounts, I feel that I saw in some of the budget requests that those amounts had changed, like for the assessors. Um, are you recommending these amounts or are you recommending whatever the budget, whatever folks have put well, the in the budget for these? Is... For elected officials, I guess. They seem. Uh, did the assessors oh, change well, from what your, they were last year? Look at your budget year? book. Did you? Did, I'll go it grab the same? it. Let me go grab it. I, I feel like I oh. saw somebody had had upped their budget. Uh, maybe not the assessors. I don't want to misspeak, uh, but. You did change theirs. Theirs went up to three thousand and five thirty-five hundred. Right. So I guess that's um, you know that's the, something. It's a separate article. Town meeting sets the um, sets those uh, elected official stipends, but I just want to be sure that you guys are on the same page with what's been. Yeah, what, yeah so uh, they where are, do I see that? Um, so they have increased their amounts. Accountant oh, salary. Um, no, assessor, it's on the assessor salary. Salary's okay. Page. Yeah, they went so, from, uh, they went up 500 bucks. Uh, I mean, each, uh, right? Yeah. Right. Well, they just went up last year, too. Yep. Yeah, I think, I know John brought it up when, when the select board went up, but. Um, but they get the other stipends from the other districts. Yeah. Do they? Yes, yeah. they do. They get, more, they get paid more than we do. I know. Is that right? Yes. Yep. Right. How well, can I we guess, get a stipend? <laughs> well, I guess I also, I just want to comment on that. I don't know. I know in some towns the assessors do a lot of the field work. I don't know what your assessors do if they do the field they work. But patriot. Yeah, so I mean. Well, can we ask them? I mean, I don't really, I don't want to go and dime them 500 bucks, but I don't really. Whatever. I'm not strong either way. If you guys want to take it up or. Uh, can we level fund it? You really want to do that? Yeah. <laughs> you know they're going to come after your salary. I know. I just think, uh, I just don't know, you know, I know they're, but the, two of them are young, young families, they work hard, they work, yeah. but I don't, I don't know everything they do. I mean, I don't, I don't imagine yeah. it's as many meetings as we deal with every day. So um, I, I don't know what's fair. So I'm, I'm not going to take a position on it yet, so. Maybe they could come and tell us what, what, well, what they feel and Diana, how much they you, earn maybe, from other. Um, uh, I know because the sti their stipends went quite up high in the last couple of years. So maybe can we get the stipend amounts 
um, list from them? Yeah, I mean, it's in, I have it in, in the assessor salaries. So at 2014, they were at 6,500. They were at 2,500, 2,000, 2,000. They stayed that way through 2017. And then in 18, they went up 500. No, no, no. I'm about what they get from, from the, their stipends. Their stipends, they went up they from, the district, from the district. From the district. The district. Oh, I don't have that information. Oh, right. okay. I'm sorry. I'm asking I, you to get the I thought you meant the stipends you get. The stipends went ones. up quite high. Okay. Well, these are stipends, too, so that's why I was confused. Okay. No, the stipends from the district. Gotcha. All right. I didn't realize that was And then we can, happening. can we make that decision next week, then? Yes. Because sure. sure. I, I think if you add it, because the stipends went up, and I know there was some complaints from the districts on that. Um. While okay. we're looking at this, is, okay. is there any uh, room to negotiate the percentage that uh, the CPA we collect? I know we talked about it last year. Uh, it still seems to be, I hear about it. And, uh, well, well, the problem is we got more stuff than ever to do. Last year we got a report from them. I don't know, you know maybe we can and, ask and for that and from they, them. Um, yeah, and they, uh, that the, was the, helpful match, the match was more... It, Steve Kulik was able to get more of a match, you know, a guaranteed yep. match. And I, I mean, we got senior housing to do, and we got to do the church. And I would like to hear from them. Uh, yeah. That helped me decide last year, knowing what they got and looking at the amount of money and yeah. all that stuff in the match. But uh, so yeah, I I'm actually curious. put in. Oh. I did put in your packet their articles that they've. Proposed. I saw that. Okay, yeah. just so you'd have that, and they they voted to put you know their ten, their ten, and their five into their. Um, well, this, there's these, so they've uh, got these three articles or projects, and oh, then they'll have money this. you know, yeah, that is funny. just going into their designated funds. This could be a whole issue thing right here. Which the... Uh, All of these things because of possible inappropriate, inappropriate action by that whole committee. On what? What's this? Uh, the community preservation. So I move the town uh, appropriates from the community preservation. This is fund under the historical um, completed work. Civil the War monument. Yeah, the um, Civil War monument makes sense, right? That's uh, but that's not the issue. Okay. The, the issue calls back to members of this board voting on things that weren't properly sworn in, or you mean the members weren't sworn in? That's one of the issues, and the other one is one of the members not being appropriately appointed by the board it was appointed from. So there's going to be some issues on that. Are we split in hairs or what's the deal? I don't know. Like what? I, I don't know. Can, can I you don't, just fill me in? I don't really know. that there, There's a couple of members that were never sworn in. So their vote to appropriate this money can't count. Because huh. they weren't properly appropriate. Then there's another individual who was appointed by one board to be on this committee, yeah. but that board is a board of several, and there was only two members on it, so they couldn't even have really had a meeting because they didn't have a quorum. So I can just tell you I've heard that there's going to be issues with this. So. Oh. Well, that would be difficult because well, this, yeah. this, they, this Civil War monument has to, got to finish up. I mean, I, I was everybody's just worked say, so hard they, on that. Um, get sworn in and then get appropriate up? Uh, Appropriately appointed and then revoted they may have before to revote. the town. I don't, town I don't meeting. know. I'm just saying that I've heard there's well, issues. Oh. Diana, well, can you follow the, up and make that sure, make sure that, that whoever legal. is not appointed gets appointed I mean, mainly um, properly? One has got and to that go. um, the other it's two people up. get sworn in and then they meet again. They post a meeting and then revote this. So it's we'll look into pro. that. Let's check in with Barbara and see what's yeah. going on there. What's going on? Okay. And then the other, so it was the the obelisk, which is great, and then the um, the nine thousand for the brick church, right? They were going to do some work yeah, on. Yeah, the steps that right down yeah. to the the bottom and steps the, there. And then thirty two for the Indian House and Bloody Book Tavern rehabilitation. Where is that approval? Old Deerfield. Old Deerfield. Now is this is this historic Deerfield or the uh, PVMT? PVM. I think it's PVMA. PVMA. I'm sorry. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, Indian really House is to, PVMA. Uh, uh, they should be having a meeting coming up, right? I, would th I know they had. I went to their meeting the other day when they were getting. Uh, I think they discussing just had the one church tonight. there, but then. Uh, they had another one tonight, I think. Oh. Just while we were here. Oh, while we're here. No, okay. that was Concom. Con no, that oh, was Con that was Concom. So okay. maybe, um, maybe they. Yeah, we'll find out when that next one is. I'd love to attend because they do a lot of 
to find out about the percentage and all that stuff. Yeah. Okay. We, we get more information. All right. Okay. So, so we've got the so, original articles are, are yeah. good. Okay. So let me um, let me just see if there's any. I wanted to just clarify. So they so the FinCom has recommended, I believe, some money, or or Brenda had at least put in some money for OPEB. I can't recall <clears throat> if they ended up voting it or not. But you have Article Six yeah. to put money in OPEB. So I just want to be clear that. <clears throat> If you're going to be putting money in. Yeah, I, I, it was in the other, it was in the end. Um, and I thought the, she put in 35,278. Yeah, oh, that wait. should be 4% of the. Oh, I see that it's not in there now. It doesn't seem I, I thought we, we oh, had wait, a no, no. We have a policy, no, so have it's got to be. I have an old copy, so. We, we have, we agreed on a percentage. Yeah. yeah. Okay, good. It's in there. 38067. Yes. All right. Yep. So yep. that's what's going to go in there. Yep. All right. Okay, good. All right. Perfect. Um, you're going to adopt work. a new classification plan, which is going to be based on the adjustment you made tonight. And I'll are have that which, where, next what week. What article are you on? Article 7. Oh, we I'm did, sorry. We, so we didn't look at, so three, oh, can I just three, check these real oh, quick? Oh, sure. Three, I just think I'll get a list from Brenda. And we so would this do, is the monetary uh, gifts. Okay, yep. four is the Four is the Dickinson library. Trust money. Got it. Yep. Five, um, is, five the, is the revolving funds. Okay. So you, the there must of, be a we'll, list. We'll get a list yep. of that. We'll yep. get a list. Um, Article we'll six is the OPEM. OPEM. Gotcha. Yep. And Article seven. seven classification plan. Gotcha. Uh, eight is the omnibus budget. Yep. So that'll Good. go That's be inserted. One. Yep. yep. Um, nine, I'm assuming, is not going to be on there. That was last year when you formed your sewer enterprise. Right. Article 10 has to look different. You have to put your revenues and your expenses on there, and they have to match. Okay, yep. So I can draft that article for you now that you have the enterprise. We okay. need it. So These we need a sewer of, enterprise. Last year's? It's kind of their Every skeleton year, from last year. These yeah, are, this this is a draft from last year. Okay. I'm sorry, and I'm just marking you it up so I can. It yeah, and I, I've updated okay. all the dates and stuff, but okay. I'm, I'm, I've got to go through and, you know, all right. basically. Schedule it out. Fill yeah, it out. work it up. Yep. Work it through with you guys. So um, Then we have SCEMS for 11. SCEMS. Um, so same thing with that with an enterprise. Normally you have the revenues and expenses on yep. the warrant. Um, yep. So we'll That'll make sure there. we have that reflected properly. Um, so capital. capital um, yes. Now I assume that will be your warrant articles that they've approved. Yep. Um, that list. Schedule. Yep. And then um, Article 13 was a separate school capital. So that's yeah, that's gone. Appear. That's yeah, not going to be gone. there. All right. And but then it may se substitute whatever they. Right. There may yep. right. There would be an article presumably from the school. I want to talk about yep. that in a minute. Don't let me forget. Okay. Um, article 14 is the capital stabilization, which you okay. haven't. Um, we haven't set. Haven't set. That's not currently reflected in right. the budget. I think at next the week last they were going to look at that. We we were going to decide next week what next was going week. on. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Right. See what there was for money. Our recommendation as a capital improvement committee is the transfer of 250,000 to the stabilization fund. But obviously there may not be enough for that there, this year. If there's not right. enough, then yep. we can't do that. Maybe do some. Right. Okay. Okay. Article 15th is the uh, to fund the shortfall related to snow and ice removal. Yep. Um, 16 is that's where your budget for community preservation is. I assume that's right. your that's your breakdown. That's your 10 percent yep. into open space. Your 10 percent yep. into historical, um, historic, and mm -hmm. they're going to put five into admin. Right. Um, actually, excuse me. They voted at their meeting last week to put 10 into open space, 10 into community housing, five into administrative, and they they voted to not put money into historic at this point because of the they, amount they have in there. At this, they already have enough. I in understand. There. Okay, that that's, that's fine. They voted. Can you so. do that? Not put anything into historic. I'll double check on that, but I believe so. I, I don't know. I'll double check with mm, that. I, 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 I thought it was a mandated. Well. I thought it was a year. mandated ten percent. Right. I thought so too. Which, but which they, doesn't they matter. That. But it doesn't recently. matter because when we do the church, anything to do related to the church or the senior center, that can come out of historical because those are both over fifty-year-old buildings. Yeah. So that right. they qualify for historical. Yeah, so once you, you use that money, though, then they're committed to be that. You'd have to make sure right, that that right. was going to be the purpose want to. of them. <laughs> well, <laughs> went down once that you put money before. into there, you yeah. you. You better yeah. hope it's an historical building. But well, if you lift up, that way. if right. you're if you're re, if you're restoring the steeple and you lift it up 
and replace the building underneath and place the steeple down, you can still use the 10% on the steeple or whatever. Oh, on, on that portion yeah, of it? Yeah, and that doesn't change what you're All doing. Right. It's just whatever. There's different combinations. Or we do something at the library, like the mm -hmm. library steps again, or, you know, whatever. Something. So There's a lot of, lot of buildings. We will Even have this building a student, is over. Right? Article Let's 17, see. yes. There I'm leaving that in. There will be 2019 yes. to 2020. So there will be years. the monies for the tuition and transportation. I'm pretty sure this is a 50 year old so. building, isn't it? This one? Yeah. I don't know. It's don't getting know. close. When was it built? In it 70s? looks like 70 to me. <laughs> 70s. But well, you're right, I know. I'm almost like, 50. Yeah. <laughs> well, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm hysterical. I mean, I'm coming Historical. up to my 45th, 45th birthday class reunion. Birthday. So, and that was in the 70s. Birthday, or, Carolyn. So, okay. Anyway, all right. Which we're one getting are we close. On? Okay, Article 18 is to just um, for the reserve fund, so we'll, yep. that'll be in there. Um, yep. Then Article 19. 19. So this is what I wondered. Article 19, 20, and 21. Um, I guess 21 is a, is probably a collector treasure article, but 19 yeah. and 20. Is that something you? Is that a standard article, or did you have something particular yeah. you did last year that you wanted those articles? I, I, that was only a one-shot deal because it was for five years. And I think it was it was cleaning up something from the modernization act, yep. right? Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah, before you delete them, them I, I don't before know you delete to. them, check with yes, the assessors. I will. Yeah. Well, I did check with them, and they do have a contract that they renew annually that is a five year. Mm -hmm. So they probably because basically the modern municipalization or it used to be you couldn't, you had to go to town meeting for more than three years. Right. And, I, and think I think now you just five. can vote it at right. like once right. for like yep. this way. Yeah. Um, okay. I'll double check. I'll leave them if we need them. Okay. I'm going to take out 22. That's the work close article. Once oh, you right. accept yep, that, that's done. you already did that. Right. Um, do we need to do anything for the mosquito control district? No, because um, part, we're, you have it, part of, we haven't part. hired a supervisor, so we're just, we're, so we well, already voted. Right we don't now. need we're to take We're coasting in a okay. sense. We're not, we have grant money. Okay. okay. That's good. Because so, this said to see if it would vote for a one-year term. No article with no so did you hear me, guys? I wanted to be clear. This Sorry. article says that the town would vote to join for an initial one-year term. Oh, right. Yeah. So, But we haven't voted to not, you know, to not, um, you know, be a member. So we're just coasting for this year because we don't have. Are you have, sure about that? Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, are you sure? Like we only voted for a one-year term. Well, yeah, we, well, so we'd have to vote again to be another to be a permanent member. A permanent member. Gotcha. But I gotcha. We, we okay. Can't, you're not doing you anything anyways because you're well, waiting for a commissioner. Right. Yeah. I'm the commissioner. I mean, there's five of us that are commissioners. We're doing the work because we don't have a supervisor. Oh, uh, that's what. Yeah. Yeah, supervisor. we haven't been I'm able sorry. to hire a supervisor yep. yet, and so it makes no sense to, you know, have you know budget. And gotcha. And we, we bought all the stuff that we had to buy, and that's mm -hmm. why we had to be a district. Yep. So we formed okay. the district, and so we're not really spending any money at this point. Okay. All right. I'll take that out. And then 22, 24 um, comes out all the way up until uh, back where Kip was talking about the CPA oh, article. So, well, 24, right, you're, you're taking out? I'm taking out all of Article 24 through Article 30, basically. Right, because that, that was all marijuana stuff right, and stuff. alcohol stuff. Um, so there was a petition article last year about the CPA. Um, yeah, you were just sure talking about the CPA. Again. We did get a petitioned article uh, today. As a matter of fact, I gave it to Barbara this afternoon to certify the signatures. Um, it's for I think it's nuclear weapons. I it's saw something like that. I saw an email yeah. about that. What? Yeah, yeah. Um, I think no, 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 to, no ban, to, to ban them. Yeah, something. It's, it's, a, like it's one a, of the who has direct. Them? To direct the federal government, like yeah, a it's one. It's a it's a one of those non-binding directory right. resolution kind of questions to ban. Um, I can't even remember because I just glanced at so, it. I'm so sorry, but I gave it to Barbara to certify yep. this afternoon. But. So we have to have an article on our town meeting to tell the federal government to ban nuclear weapons. If it's weapons. voted, if it's yeah, just if, a vote, if, it's, it's a petition. Why don't, we just, why don't we just tell the federal government it, to get rid of climate change? Well, we could. And he thought it was funny too. <laughs> well, actually, I mean, they really, are right now with the Green any... Deal. They're trying. Oh, the Green. Oh, yeah, I love that. They're trying. Well, the Republicans think we're giving up cows. But I, I, I whatever. Like, well, we got to kill all the cows quick because we can't have cows. We need ice cream, so you got to keep you know, the cows. You know, that Green Deal keeps going. You can't have cows because they produce You're methane. Full of it. 
Well, that is not what's going to happen to our sewer? What, well, what, what about listen. our sewer plant? That gives off a lot of methane gas. Well, listen, I'm it. hoping for the New Green Deal bucks to help our sewer plant. That's right. No, no. They're, they're, they're going to have an infrastructure plan. Okay. That. So let yes, me finish this up. This so the last thing, um, <laughs> well, not the last thing, but it, so the Amazing. articles, obviously, we didn't talk about are the school article. Now, mm -hmm. the Frontier article, I have to say I'm a little bit uncertain about I, I, I see, see that it? they've posted. Um, Do I don't have it. I've given it to you before in your packet. I didn't reproduce you have? it tonight. today. Um, I think oh, I gave it to you last meeting? week or the last a couple week meetings ago. I gave you oh. the whole thing that he had sent about the vote. This is not for Franklin County. This no, is this for is for the frontier. frontier. So I guess the only question is, when are they voting that? Do you know? Uh, they're gonna. I believe they're gonna vote on it uh, the fourth. April fourth. Okay. Yeah. I, I'm almost positive. Okay, because I saw there. I think Barbara was gonna send me the meeting notice, and I hadn't had a chance to look at it. But so I guess the the I, the challenge is that you are gonna be putting an article on your warrant that you have to supposedly close before the school committee actually votes the article to send to you. Yeah, but you can put it on a placeholder and then we can open and close yeah. it. Yeah, Just I mean, I presume you're gonna put it on. The, the question that I'm trying to, to suss out is how the language appears right. because what the language in the law says is that the town has the, uh, has the uh, right once the school committee advises the town that they voted this and the successful vote has occurred at the school committee level, to within 45 days call a town meeting to disapprove the article. Right. That's what it says. So it, that's right. all it says. So it doesn't say you, if you're, and, and the idea is if you're not gonna disapprove it, you don't you even don't have do to have a you town just meeting. let it ride. So. Because then there's also a ballot vote process that has to happen as well, which ensures that all the towns, you know, that all the people understand. But in the meantime, this, this, so this. So are they asking when we have the ballot question, that ballot question is for debt exclusion, right? No. So that's the no. other thing I want to, you know, yep, we've had a lot not. of discussion right. about this. So, so when confused. the, when yep. the, the under, under section, Mass General Law Chapter 71, sections D and N, identify specifically how a, um, the authorization to borrow is handled by a regional committee, a regional school committee. I, I don't mm -hmm. know if it's specific to regional school committees, but it's to regional districts and school committees. And it basically identifies the process. One of the first process is this process. They vote it. They inform the, the various committees that are affected that they have voted this and that they have the right to take it to a town meeting and disapprove it within 45 days. Yep. Should you not disapprove it, not take it to a town meeting and not disapprove it or take it to a meeting and or you know approve it in in the in the affirmative, then the school has the obligation through the statute then to call a special election that they have to pay for. They they craft the the question, they deal with the town clerk directly and they have to call the question to do the same thing basically do the authorization to borrow it has to go to it has to be voted in all four towns as we all understand it at their ballots yep. um, and then once that happens then the town can exclude the portion that they're going to be assessing right. us so we have to wait until they but do you their can't special town attach a debt exclusion vote special. to their vote because right. it's their vote now, whether you can the ask fall. them to debt exclude it or not as part of that vote, I don't know. I don't but either. I don't think so. I, don't think I, so I think when we talked to DLS, they said that they couldn't do that as right. part of the statute. Um, so that complicates it even more. Because right. if you can't and they don't debt exclude it, exclude it, how do we raise that money without going for a two and a half override? We, we can, though. We, once they vote it, and if the town supports it, it, then we would then right. hold a... A special town meeting, which would probably be in the fall or something, right. or I don't know, maybe we wait till the annual, right. depending well, on when they need money. We've talked about trying to do it with the tech. So yeah. if we did Frontier and the tech, we could do them both. Yeah, next. together in the fall or something like annual. that. Then we would just debt exclude that. We usually that. have we usually have a, a fall. fall, yeah. One. So I think I think we would wait and see how it Although all shakes can, out with the votes. I'm and not then sure. Decide. I'm not sure you can do a debt exclusion except in a 
annual, annual town, town, town meeting. I heard that. Oh, is that right? I think That's so. Well, we may have to I mean, wait till I, the following year then. Uh, I'm not 100% oh, sure. Oh, an annual but, election? Oh, no, yeah. you can call a debt exclusion vote any time. You can call you a can? special vote for a debt oh, okay. exclusion. Sure, right. but, I, I, but I think you could mm -hmm. also do it at your annual election, and I think mm -hmm. the timing would be... Yeah. Would be a, well, I just... It seems appropriate. I it had to be. It seems like the process, although... You know, Barbara and I have been, you know, we want to make sure that, th we also do want to make sure this, th we assume the school administration understands the, this process, clearly. They're trying. But it's, um, it so. does seem like they seem, they there is a sense there might be some debt service next year. So it seems like we'd have to go through a lot more to get to the point where they'd actually have debt service. You know, that right. means they'd have to borrow, they'd have to do the project, they'd have to pay, they'd, you know what I mean? They'd have to yeah. be using there's a money. Lot to be, and a lot of work to be it done seems before like a all lot. that happens. Yeah. So. But I, how do they borrow the money without the authorization from the communities? Correct. That's what I'm saying. They, they, they don't. They can't. They can't. So, yeah. they can't. They're just getting, I think, their ducks in a row right. to get to do it. But um, So anyway, so, those, so I presume you want to go ahead and put that article on that they've sent you. But that, I guess, is the question. Um, is it if it is a more disapprove article right the the finance committee had this sense of they just they didn't even want to put the question on yeah but they were sensing like no if we don't put it on then we'll then we'll definitely have a chance to vote it but i think we'll have do a either chance way. both ways right you do either way and it might, i think what the school really wants to know is is there the appetite in the communities yeah. and if there is then they would move forward, you know, with it. If there isn't, then they'd like to know that now and then revamp the capital plan and keep struggling until they can figure out a way to do some of the work they need. Yeah. So I think, I think it's worth courtesy, putting it on. We put it and on. I'll try to get some more answers, yeah. you know, from Because it Darius, would allow them, then if any one of the towns we'll say no, what? then they don't have to go through calling the special election. For, and that yeah. would cost money. Because it has to be all four for capital. All four. Yeah, right. yeah. it does. That's a big lift. I mean, That's Sunderland's in a, in a world of hurt. This, this, you know, they're, I just heard on the radio today that they may have to do a two and a half override because of their school budget this year. Fourteen like percent or something. Right. Like that. So that's the other thing too. I think it's very, um, you know, I, I, I don't know. I mean, I is, is it a possibility that one of the towns may not pass it? I mean, yeah, I, I think it one, could be anybody. a possibility. And, so. and I think Conway has a well, larger. Conway, they're paying I, a larger I, share. I don't this think year. this town will. I mean, Maybe. historically. This community has supported schools mm -hmm. way above and beyond. But I, I've talked to so many people that th this portion of their money, you know, there is some maintenance, but a lot of it's not. And it doesn't really go to the quality of the education of the kids. You know, it's just, you know, these are things that we, we'd like to do. Well, I'm concerned you know? that I agree with, I may, may agree with that or not. The, the, the issue is that, you know, it's an asset that you need to maintain. So I don't know how else. How else but do you things, start maintaining? I think it? this, and, and and I get that, but it, it's it's just like you know you get you, you drive through a puddle and your car gets dirty. You don't buy a new car because you want a shiny car. You, right. you clean the one you got. Well, they're but not that's buying not anything what, new. Are they? Well, they want to replace the gym floor. I don't think they do. I really well, don't. I don't. Right, I think it's a actually, refinish. What about the bleachers? That's another thing. A great. I, I think, and that's where I think you know, that committee of uh, selectmen and school committee members and. and our charge would like, can you just do the wheels over? Yeah. Is there a different way to do this thing? Well, Is there, you know, I'm going to tell you, I, I was there for, be. what, seven or eight months, and it never, that, I brought it up every time. Uh, Bob uh, Baker from Conway brought yeah. it up, and it was just like, okay, so how are we going to get this money? I said, wait a minute, did you listen to what I said? You yeah. know, did you hear me anything? And you know, and that's, that's what was so frustrating with it. For it. Right. So, hey, you know, for that. so, have we heard any more about the foundation budget? Um, no, there was there was a foundation. meeting, I believe, a hearing it down at, down right. in Boston recently. But, you, but I have you haven't not heard, heard from Joe Comerford what anything. Uh, is she coming tomorrow night? Um, I mean, the, her staff coming tomorrow with any updates? Do you tomorrow know? for which? Uh, uh, tomorrow's the. The postponed. It got postponed. When did I didn't get the? You didn't email. get the email. Yeah, it went out from um, David sent one out, and then um, why did it get postponed? And then Linda, um, just not enough attendance. Oh really? We got to work on that. There were unforeseen things, is what we said. Oh, but, but yeah, we need we need can to I work just on say something groups. about the school. Yeah, yeah, let's get, okay. go back to no, the I just, I, yeah, just, I'm glad you, you asked. Well, no, no, because, oh, yeah, email. I would have come down here. Right. But wh what I'm, what I was concerned about is that the mix of if the foundation budget's moving forward yep. and we're going to take a hit, 
that will have a huge impact on what we can do. On yeah, what yeah. we can do. And I don't so, know. I haven't heard. You haven't but heard anything. No. Because okay. it was we'll supposed to, to be out. for this budget. I know. FY19. Yeah. Or 20. 20 for the July 1st. Yeah. I so I, I'm, yet. you know, if we're, if we're, if we're going to have to come up with 300,000 just to make up the difference, that's, I mean. It changes the whole everything. I know. Right. And nobody seems so, to, I mean, I'm the only one right. that's getting an ulcer over this. <laughs> no, no, you're not. And, yeah, and I want to say something to this. this. This is the only, I, I haven't, you know, I haven't commented too much on the school's budgets and uh -huh. whatnot. I'm, I don't have a no. lot of information about it or experience. Right. Um, but I did go and sit through the, the public hearing at Frontier, and what I found to be uh, really notable is that you had, uh, you know, you had all your, you had your finance, you had a lot of finance committee folks from this town and other towns, mm -hmm. and board of select folks or select board folks yep. from the other towns, and there were some questions asked, you know, well, what, what do we need to do this, and what about the busing, and you know, things like that. But it, it, there was a very, and, and maybe it's just because you guys have been in those rooms for so long and you've just heard that stuff, you know, over and over, year upon year. But when you guys are, when, when the school is coming and telling you that, or the or frontier is coming and saying for, for, to the town of Deerfield, for 10 years, you know, we haven't been able to afford to do these maintenance projects. We've had to defer all of this. But at the same time, if you look at their DESE reports, and year over year, they're, they're, you know, going up and up and up in terms of the amount of over, you know, where the special Commonwealth, yeah. where the funding is. Fund well, fund it's not special education. I'm less, talking about less from the state. Right. So, so, so but, but your, but up. the amount that you're funding the budget over the in, in context over foundation to the rest of the mm -hmm. Commonwealth is considerable. I mean, you're there's very few towns in the, or not few, not very few, but there's there's you know you're up there we, in the top in tier yes, of do. funding for schools, which is yep. great. It's a cel you should be celebrating, but it is a little disconcerting when it's getting to be the level of amount it is in Deerfield's budget, getting up to be 60, 65 percent of the budget. 70. You have 70 percent. You have all these other pressures we've talked about ad nauseum with development and the nonprofits and all of that stuff. And then on top of that, this, then they're saying, and by the way, while, all, while we were spending more and more and more money on education, Staff. we are losing Chapter 70 money. We got choice kids coming in that cost more money than, than we're bring, they're bringing in. Lately. And now we have this $2 million gap in our capital costs that we're going to put on to you towns now for another however many years. Yeah, well, they, they could have been adding that all along. And they should have been it should adding have that. should have been adding But they it. don't because everybody but, wants a low budget every year. But, but, that's, but it, that's false you, because that's it, not what really is happening. The budget it, well, has it could been. could have been eight. Seven percent every year. I mean, I have not been on Frontier's budget, but I'm thinking of Deerfield Elementary. You look at any budget in the last four years that have been on there; they're all staff, and mm -hmm. it's because nice. you have more and more special education. These kids need more and more. Um, they have more and more needs. Are just bal right. ballooning just right. in the four well, years so that I've been there, and no capital. We have not introduced one. Been able to introduce one. Um, advancement in in education other than small tweaking we get a grant to get you so, know uh, other people in to start you know working on these um, you know how, how to address the special needs that are happening not special needs is in terms of um, what you'd think of but just what the kids are dealing with and what they present with and how you can't function as a teacher because there's so much like going on there where you need Right. You know, restraint, you need, you know, right. padded room, right. you, all right. this extra stuff. And you're not putting it into education, you're putting it into maintaining. And then you're not, you know, if you look at the bathrooms, they're finally starting to get some money to put in for changing the bathroom. You look at any stall, they're rusted out completely. Because, you know, every year, like a couple of years ago, we, with our extra money that we had at the end of the year from school choice and some special education money from school choice, and uh, we took that money and bought all new tables. So okay, we did but capital so, so that I way. So I hear what you're saying, and I've heard this discussion, mm -hmm. you know, a lot from different people. I guess all I'm saying is I think it, it I was disappointed that at the, the, 
the public hearing, and, and I think that's what I'm getting at. We need to have some more dialogue about these things, meaningful dialogue. This, you guys school. having a dialogue about the capital costs and, and, and sort of, you know, Kip raising his concerns, which are, mm -hmm. which are genuine valid. concerns and valid, yeah. but, but it's this, we're so far down in the weeds below where the project is now, but, but, I, but at the same time, it is, it's frustrating to me that that's the case because I think there should be a lot more dialogue Nobody comes about to the these meetings. things. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. and, and especially, I think now Deerfield needs to pay attention because you have been, you have been providing a high level of service for your constituents, and they have they appreciate it and they enjoy it, and there's an appetite for that. But you are starting to get squeezed. We're talking about like all of these things that are squeezing you, and your projects, the projects that have been undone that are being expected of you now are coming. So you're just it's a different oh, time where we have to be more thoughtful about those things. I guess Folks, is all I'm saying. I don't want this to escalate too far out of control. I know, I'm sorry, and, I don't mean and I, to. And I, and I really don't like a lot of analogies, but the buck stops here and we don't stop it. Well, it stops at negotiation. Huh. No, yeah. it doesn't. We just yeah, gave, does. we gave everybody a 2% cola because they deserve Correct. it, right? And, no, and, but that's, a, but that's, a, that's the sentiment. Being a boss, being a selectman, we're the boss of town, and, and we have to rein these things in. But we don't because we allow this to happen here. And we, well, this needs that. Everybody's priority is so important. They do such a great presentation. You, you can't give it to everybody, and no, that's what the you, town's been doing. You, no, I don't think this town's been given to anybody. I don't think for a long, long time we've not done the capital projects that we're faced with now. And, and I don't think anybody. I don't, don't think we have staff getting really rich here. I'm not and we, saying and they I get know really that rich. I know that at least in our department itself has been underfunded ever since I got elected. There's not enough staff. We well, need three wait, more wait, people. Before you were elected. Before, before you were elected. Well, whatever. But I mean, I'm just saying that it isn't that, underfunded now. It's understaffed now. But the exactly. money's been there. The money's been there, but we haven't but, spent it. So every year it goes back in. We say, oh, we got this big budget for selectmen salaries, and half of it gets spent every year because we don't well, even have any staff to do it. So I think the issues like that, we don't, you know, uh, yes, I don't mind spending on our, our, our employees. The very, you know, we have few employees in this town and they work really hard and do a good job and I'm not giving them the world. 2% is not the world and I get that they have steps and I, I've come around to a different philosophy on the steps versus, versus COLA. But um, uh, where I see it is, is, as in the schools or, or when people are asking for more than 2%, or they're asking for a 2% plus all these other things. And that's where I think makes a huge difference on where we can educate and why we're not doing capital over there. Because you're, you, you know, they, they negotiate a steps and salaries. And then all of a sudden they negotiate all these hourly things. Well, you're not an hourly employee. You, you get a salary to work 180 days a year. 183. 183 right. days a year. The rest of us work 360, you know, I mean, we, it's, I'm not saying it's not, it's just a different philosophy that it's a different bubble. And I just want to try and break down that, get into that mindset and understand where they're seeing it compared to where, you know, the rest of this budget is. They, right. they, you never have teachers in the audience here wondering about how we can afford this. And I'm concerned that it, it's, um, it's, a, it, it's its own world and, and you if, and I understand their their needs are their priorities are valid and all that stuff, but but you have they have to figure out all this other stuff that's not getting done because right. we've always been there for them. Right. So why not just say whatever the budget is, whatever we think, and just say this is what you're going to get. This is all we're going to do. Now, granted, they can come to a town meeting and all stand up, and mm -hmm. and if that if the people in the audience voted, then I would feel better saying, look at. You know, as your selectman, this was part of a solution. You right. chose Not to spend it. it, so you know what? You're going to deal with the taxes. Right. You know? And I, I, I want to do that during negotiation, and then um, because well, I think that to, has the yeah. long term impact. It does. And then I think, you know, the budget that came out of elementary this year is very minimal. I mean, it's a two something. Um, two? 2.39. 2.39. So it's under two and a half. You know, um, there's, there's other needs that they have but I'm you know I'm more like capital I'm not more staff and 
and it feels like every time you turn around they need another staff because of the needs that are going on there. But you're right, we've got to find okay. a way to, to minimize that. We've so got I just, so it's excellent. No, I just wanted to, I, that's exactly what I'm saying. I just think we need to have more dialogue. That's I all. Agree. I'm not. I don't, I'm not judging on what it should be or what the outcomes are. I just think we should have more dialogue, more, not the day, you know, the right. day before we're setting the budget. Right. Um, but I just want to, I, I do want to mention one thing and I will follow up. Um, I, um, when I was in Orange, I worked with Kathy Reining, who was the chair of the select board when I was there for, for several years. And now she's on the finance committee and she's working really hard on, um, on getting some special education costs um, fully funded in a, in a rightful way. Yes. Um, so I'll reach out to her. I didn't realize that, you know, sort of that was one of our challenges, but that's something I think we should definitely, I don't know if you've saw any of that, but how they're funding special education is not even like real dollars. They're just making up some some values I, or formulas I am really, or things. I really, really concerned, so, and no yes, one seems to be concerned yeah. with me. So but I think that I'm, would be. I, you can see we the train went, coming. We went to that, those, we've been to three or four different meetings now, and, and, it, and it just, every meeting re reaffirms that we're going to get a hit, mm -hmm. and, and the hit is at least a quarter of a million dollars. Mm -hmm. And you're but right, it and was, it's, a, it's based on false data. O it's other false data, it's at, other, least, it, it's at, at least I feel like the data is not The way correct. you see it. Yeah. Right. And the way I think and there is possible. There is a possibility we should be looking for something to adjust. Mm -hmm. and, and I... I just, but it, but the, but they're trying to do it. We, when we were in Jan, in January in Boston, they it was pushed down the line mm -hmm. because they didn't have any funding source. Well, they still don't have any funding source, but they're redoing the formula with the same pie. So that means that there's going to be winners and losers because there's no additional growth to that pie. And so what I'm afraid is that we are one of the losers mm -hmm. based on the calculations that we were mm -hmm. getting judged on. And I, I, I know they're wrong. I know they're wrong. And, and I haven't been able to get any headway on this. And nobody Well, I'll try to reach out to El, is it Ella. I think she's the staff Ella, Ella, at, Ellie. for the staff yeah. for uh, Joe, because I know that they've been very involved in it. And she's, 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 I know. She's Do they trying. know that the, there's no meeting tomorrow? Do you think? I believe so. I'm, I'll find out. I'll, I'll, we'll send we need, out another. I'll make some phone calls. To I know make I sure. got one from Linda Don Levy, and I'm sure she sent it to the DOR guy. And okay. Uh, but I, I told Jonathan I wanted to get together and like do a phone bank. And so well, don't we have we a at? meeting? Don't we have a meeting in the first week of April or something? Uh, uh, I think so. I think so. Yeah. All right. That's you want to move on? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, so I have oh, on the here. Oh, the 11th. The 11th. Trailer. Okay. Um, the next thing was uh, for Dumont, they had submitted a, um, a letter of intent to the EDIP program quite some time. I think you'd had some discussion about yep. it previously. So um, I guess normally in towns that I've worked in, what, what would happen is I would, um, once we received the notice, the letter of intent, which we have received, then I would normally reach out to the company and, and talk to the CFO or to whoever, and, and they would, you know, you'd have to schedule a meeting, you can have them come. You, I think Carolyn mentioned you used to have a committee, I don't know, but usually you just get the information about what the job growth's gonna look like, what the investment's gonna look like. They'll, you know, tell you what they're uh, thinking the tax uh, value might be, and then they will make Make some kind of um, probably ask on you know what they would be looking for as far as a tax incentive, and then you guys decide whether you want I thought to we did that do that. Part. No, you haven't that? done that with them. No. No. What did we? Do? Uh, they came for a hundred percent, and we told them no. And that's and it just stopped there. Oh, previously they had approached you? Oh, yeah. they may have done that before they wrote the letter of intent too, because oh. that's part of the thing that kicks it off. Because yes. they just did that, um, you know. They, the yeah, yeah. Okay. we said that we would be willing to do the 25, which is what traditionally we've been doing. Like a 25, 25, 25. Yeah. 25. yeah. So you do a, so you do like a hundred, like a hundred seventy-five, fifty, twenty-five. Is that what you're saying? Or no, 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 a no, lot no, of towns no. do. 20, no. I, I, or fact, you just do a twenty. What I suggest is it should be 25, 20, 15, 10, 5. Right. It's, yeah. it's, it's okay. the max. We start at 20. At 25. Oh, I got gotcha. you. Okay. Asked us to start at okay. 100. Mm -hmm. And All I'm right. like, no. no. No interest in that. We're okay. not, that was never ever a consideration that we would Right. Well, I don't, I think we should, uh, that's really good information, but normally what, what the Mass Office of Business Development would like is for us to just take a meeting with them and hear what their proposal is. Meeting with is. the property owners. 
with right. with uh, pilot precision with Dumont. Right. I guess they're calling themselves yes. Dumont. Yes. Oh, well, I mean, you can call a meeting. Would that we can, be okay? All three of us can go, or but well, it's it's usually well, you. Okay. Yeah. John. John Got the Poderis. experience and. Okay. Right. We've no, never no, done no. anything more than twenty five. We've never done anything more than twenty five. Okay. Well, well, we'll I, set I up a meeting right. and. But it's not going to go, um, obviously, you can't go on the annual town meeting town. because it's the reason, too far down the, the, road, reason the reason why you do it is because whatever you do, whether you do 5% or 25%, whatever, it kicks off the state. Right. Uh, right. And, that's, the state. and you, yeah. then you do it just so that they can get the so state how, out of it. How does it work since they're going to be occupying that building within a couple of weeks and we have no agreement? So they get taxed for the full boat right now? Well, yeah, because yeah. there's okay. no, there's no. So other when agreement. when we do reach an agreement, then the agreement takes effect whenever we reach an agreement. That seems to make sense to me. Yes. No. Yeah, it it's has not to be, retroactive. No, and it has to. Well, it has to be voted at town meeting, mm -hmm. and I'm not sure when they will get their first tax bill because you have to remember what they get taxed on is whatever's on the ground as of a certain date. That's I guess your cut, your cut off though, I think is June 30th, right? right yeah. A lot so of towns it, cut off July, January 1st. Well, but. our assessors, like a lot of assessors, do it at the first of the year and in June. So it's not, it's not okay. clear cut. Yeah, so, so road, depending so. on what yeah. they had on the ground as of whenever so they cut off, June that's 30th, what they'll. That building will be complete. So their tax bill in, December will be on whatever the value of that building is completed. And, well. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. Economic development program? Uh, no. Uh, that's that's part of the that. same thing. Oh, same I'm thing. Sorry. sorry. Yep. Just Pilot I agreement for the again. solar. Yep. Pass RE. Do we yep. have that in here? Yes, you do. Uh, and right. I have is that the towards original? the end? Uh, yes, I do. And the, the assessors have already looked at this. And yes, they have. And it's right. gone to town council. So it's been we, fully vetted. Any um, synopsis of what we have here? Uh, it's a pilot agreement for the uh, Mass uh, RE12 LLC solar project that was just voted by and, the planning board. And where is this one going? This is this on the um, River Road. Railroad. This is the railroad one that went yes. back and forth a little bit. And now it's okay. Yep. Yeah. This is, uh, I'm trying to think. 100 railroad, railroad yard road. Okay. Yep. And um, it is, they have the, con the one thing they wanted us to be clear about, so I had changed it and asked council to review it, and they said it was fine, is that we added a section that says, um, where is it? It's in a section... Okay, it's in on page five, section six, under tax status. About midway through, it says, further this, further, this agreement is not intended to relieve developer of the obligation to pay taxes assessed pursuant to the Deerfield Area Fire Protection District. Okay. Semicolon, developer is required to pay taxes assessed due to the property's location in such district. So the assessors wanted that to be clear that that so they're going to pay they a fire still district have to pay, still pay the fire district tax. Okay. Correct. Yep. Correct. So. And they're aware of that. And they're aware. Of that. Yes, I sent this back to them today, to, and they they said it was fine. There, just so you guys might be aware of this project, so you know the uh, the big one that we did on all states property generates yeah. I think sixty three thousand a year. And that was a six megawatt, and this one's a two megawatt, so it's about a third the amount, and so I think that's still pretty good. You there. know, one thing we need to discuss is where this money starts uh, going. I don't want it just going into the general fund. It, it does by law, it but then you can. Well, I know, but we need we to then move that. Out. Right, yes. vote it out to things like OPEB or things like a retirement or things that are not going to be a constant, um, you know, you don't want to just create your, your operating budget with this money, you want well, you, yeah. this is because no, no, it's it going to disappear. It is. It is, it is your, no, it is your revenues. This it is, is just a, revenues. I get it's revenue, it's but not set aside. But the revenues. problem is, is what happens is in 20 years all that revenue disappears, and then you're left with a budget like, oh, we got a big hole in the tank. So what my idea is to is my intention would be to take money like this, marijuana money, things that are going to disappear, and not plan on 
budgeting our town on them, but plan on putting that money aside for the I large mean, expenses like OPEB and things like that that we're going to be saddled with. So you don't you don't plan on like get fat and comfy on this money for 20 years and then have it disappear. Or the marijuana money, which is only five years, right? Four years, whatever. Uh, so I, I I agree. No, I, I know it's but, revenue, and I know you plan on yeah. that stuff, but to set at least a good portion of that. Aside, so you don't get used to it. I don't think, first of all, that you, you can do it like that. But I think what you can do is you can, in the front end, plan on it. So like the marijuana money we know is going to be a impact. limited impact. Yeah. So after the first year, I don't know, let's just say we get $50,000. Right. What we could say is, all right, take the $50,000 and we're going to apply that to OPEP. Right. Okay, right. or something. But I don't think you can just take it out and just put it aside for something. Correct, like correct. No, 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 no exactly. Yeah, you're, you, you got it right. You can just apply yeah, it to that's something. That's exactly so that, what I'm okay. thinking. Yeah. Just, just like the Uber money yep. that goes yep. into, yep. we it comes through the general fund, and then we had to reappropriate it out right. but to I, and the I think highway Uber department. money? Okay, I think, yeah. You know think, that yeah, the yeah, state yeah. collects. Um, yep. But with these things here, I mean, 20 years is a long time, and I do get and I do get your point. I think that that's no different than... This is no different than if somebody builds a new building. You say, well, it's never going to go away. But it but, depreciates. But it, not, not only it depreciates, but there's a lot of factors in there. And uh, I, the prime example was where, um, you know, well, let's just say there's two parcels of property, mm -hmm. and they can be assessed on the value and the location. But if there are buildings on there, if one building is a business that makes millions of dollars, and the other building, even though it's the same size, a is a non. Yeah, say it's yep. a nonprofit. One can have double the tax rate or, or the tax bill at the other one because yep. that's another uh, tool that an assessor has is oh, the ability of that property to generate income. Yep. And and so you know you can have, you know, a very valuable piece of property. Then all of a sudden that business closes, and when they go to sell it, it becomes a nonprofit. non-profit. And then all yep. of a sudden you take a hit that way. Right. And if that, I'm not saying it would, but if that scenario happened two or three times, you could lose $60,000 a year just on those right. couple of properties. Right. So I yep. think this would kind of be the similar. Thing. Yeah, that makes sense. You know. I just so want to make Diane, sure that we're not. Diane, do you need a vote? Yes, please. Yes. I make a motion that we approve the pilot agreement. Can I just ask, is there a dollar amount in there? I'm trying to three, find There's a $19,000 a year. Oh, a schedule. Okay, schedule thank you. Yep. 19, 19000 a year it, for it. a total okay, of three eighty. Perfect. So I second that motion. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. And thank okay. you for and all gonna, your hard work um, on that. Before you leave, I'm going to print a new a new page because the assessors um, aren't. Oh. They said you just just be signing it. Okay. So they don't want to sign all right. It. Um, Sounds or good. They're not going to be around. So Karen said take their names off. Okay. Do you want to take a minute and we'll go into our, to our executive session? Then we'll come back. I don't think we'll be okay. very long. To make a motion to enter into executive session, and I guess you have the language, right? Right. Uh, to conduct strategy with respect to collective bargaining mm -hmm. or litigation. If an opening meeting may be detrimental effect on the bargaining or litigation position of the public body, and the chair so declares. Okay. Second. But she does. Aye, uh, Carolyn. Aye, Henry Camosa. Aye, Trevor McDaniel. And okay. we'll return to open session. Yep. Thank you. Um, okay. All right, so. Okay, so the next item would be the administrator's report, and she's on her way. She is. Do you, so do no, you have gonna, anything? We're going to go back to the building inspector. Oh, I'm sorry. Who do we have for applicants? Okay. Oh, did you? Oh, the page so for signatures? Where are you at? Uh, do we have a warrant tonight? I don't. No. Oh. Okay. Because we're not off this week. Is, ah, gotcha. This is additional week. Okay. I don't have um, their name. Did you know Matthew's last name? It was Tom. Yeah. I forget the, Matthew's name. The I didn't. Aspect. I don't know. No. no. So we well, have, yeah. we have yeah. a, uh, two right. applicants, right, for the building commissioner? Yeah. Well, two, two that are qualifying. Okay. okay. And um, so you're going to reach out to one of them and have yep. them come in? Yes. And you'll Do meet with them? Yes. Okay. Okay. Yes. All right. We'll Great. Move forward on that. Thank you. Great. Okay. So your report? Yeah, I don't. Cool. I think I just had a couple updates, but I had some things in there date-wise. I just wanted to talk about. Now, where is it? 
Um, so can can we just quick, are you going to go over what's on the agenda for so far for next week? Yeah, so next week I have, um, we, we will have UMass folks coming in. Um, Joe uh, did did call me, so um, I, haven't, uh, I haven't gotten together with them on what materials will be coming in, but I guess I understand. There are materials the, coming. He's be been, us he's been having conversations with both Dick and I. Okay. He's been 100% cooperative. Excellent. It's been wonderful. Yep. Yeah, that's we'll right. have some that's practical. We'll have some good practical um, solutions, Trevor and Kip. Yeah. Yep. Okay, great. Thank you for working on that. And then on, um, so I just, we just did, I just did some quick updates. Um, as Carolyn mentioned, um, we did get the, uh, we submitted a culvert, or she didn't mention this, but we submitted a culvert replacement municipal assistance grant application last week. And that is okay. part of our municipal vulnerability preparedness work where we're doing so um, we would like to continue there's another application round opening uh, this month and it's due at the end of the month so it's what Carol so we're meeting tomorrow about. at 3 30 yeah meeting tomorrow yeah. to get get those um, um, on the hazardous you. mitigation grant can you just reach out to um, Kathy at Richardson's and um, at the old Deerfield country store mm -hmm. Roger Sadowski's um, sister because we need we need estimates for um, you know, Zach needs estimates for um, business loss when they're okay. when, when they when, shut five and ten because of the fi when the roads are oh, shut right, down. Oh right, right, right. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, and and he needed some information from the assessors on um, the value of the properties in Wapping Road area and five and ten because their septic systems are failing, and if there's no septic systems, there's no um, there's not really an alternative. Uh, to the septic system, so therefore the buildings would be in, uh, not habitable. So you have, he just needed the total value of the buildings. This okay. is for the cost benefit analysis. Okay. So um, he needs a cost, you, you need to just email out those two requests because they haven't gotten back to him apparently. Okay. And then Karen, he needs, Karen needs to just give the total value of that area. Okay. All right. All right. Um, property do you values. Want to start at the top, or do you? Um, well, I guess well, I just, just we I just you noticing the uh, board of health regulations on the vaping. Yeah, so that so the we've sent the draft or we sent our regulations to DJ at MMA, which he said right. we could do that, and he's supposed to be giving uh, updating them. He agreed to do that. Right, so once nice. we get those back, then we would be scheduling that public hearing. But okay. he had recommended to wait um, for some. Well, we you know, we ended time. up wanting to wait because we want to do the Providence. Okay. level model but yeah. we were we were waiting to see what the out results were from the Somerville litigation okay because if summer Somerville prevails then we want to go to the level of Somerville gotcha okay because that Somerville uh, uh, eliminates mint and menthol right whereas um, Providence eliminated all flavors but Those. mint and menthol okay. and there's right. no real desire to use the vaping if there's no f um, flavors. flavors so right. Rather than go through all the effort, it just find just wait a little bit longer. Okay, and then sounds good. We'll find out what's going on. Thank you. Yeah. Um, and then the town building advisory committee, they're meeting tomorrow night, so they have been Great. moving very uh, steadily along with their work. I met with Julie, um, who's the chair this week. They have an RFQ that they've drafted, so we're working on making sure that the RFQ is appropriate for what they're trying to accomplish. Um, and they're also looking at ways to survey stakeholders on some needs assessments and things like that. Can I ask, did we ever get a copy of the uh, building assessment that was done in Sunderland? There was a lot of talk yes. about yes, it. Yes, we did. We did. Um, I, I know they have a copy, Kip. I, I, um, All right. Well, maybe tomorrow I can, make I can sure stop I, in and yeah. see one. Unless if you happen to have it on the computer, you could email it to me. I'll look and see. Bruce Hunter he, may have emailed that out to the group. I'll see if he okay. did, and I can forward it. I to think you. Wendy okay. had a hard Do, copy, and that's what they, you know, she yeah. might have scanned it. They might have scanned it, yeah, because I think Bruce had it. Do scope is right now? Are they looking at the senior center building and the church? Or I know we had money separate for the church, and that had to be separate. And right. I don't know if they're look, dealing with that later or... Nope, they uh, are looking at, so okay. so basically she just bring, she did bring in the scope. So they looked at, they were looking at all of the town buildings or what they had done is listed all of the town what buildings. We own. Yep. And then they'd sort of prioritize them. So what her and I discussed is that given the cost and what we, we did look at some other 
assess building assessments that towns had done and yep. what they had uh, the the uh, amount of buildings they'd looked at and the sort of condi the level of the conditions they mm -hmm. looked at in terms of the cost right and we decided that wh what they had this idea is they wanted to try to get an engineer and then sort of negotiate this project of how they would do it over the money and you really can't procure it that way right. like you have to bid out what the project is right. if you you know you can either just get the consultant through qualifications you know they can do that mm -hmm. but if they want to do an art like a uh, the qualifications and then price that has they have to have the project and the price and gotcha. I'm a little concerned that the project they were sort of scoping was way too Big. much for the Right, for the right. So you need to what I think I recommended to her is that they they um, take the, the scope being the, the three buildings that they prioritize the most, which is the <coughs> senior center, the church, and the, what was the other, the third one? I'm thinking, um, it might be, I guess, this building, maybe. Oh, okay. Town hall. Yeah. So town sense. hall, church, and senior center. Most needful. And then the other buildings would kind of go down to the bottom as alternates. Like yep. so, if there was if, extra money, or right? Something. So yep. for they they would do that kind of like as an alternate. But the the top three, the priority are those three buildings. The, and then uh, they I'm, have this whole I just list want to know, of are the conditions. other buildings just the elementary school and the highway garage? Elementary right. school, highway garage, transfer station, SCEMS what building. What about like? And we're probably not oh, assessing. Library. We're not assessing the wastewater library, treatment. Library, library. But and we're not assessing the wastewater no. treatment because no. those are under their own no. thing already. It's not yeah. To just no. Like the no. Be anything. Yeah. Oh, okay. And but they I have a, they have a spreadsheet. I'd I could I definitely could send that to you as well. It would just be like minimal, like the SCEMS building. They'd say like roof in 25 years. Or right. whatever they well, they were looking in addition to to um, they, they're looking for quite an extensive list of conditions assessments of the building, the building envelope, the seat, the HVAC, the systems, the infrastructure, mm -hmm. um, and those newer buildings. The other thing they're looking for as part of this proposal or project, which I think is again getting way, you know, I think it's not be enough money. Not yeah. enough money, is they want it. They want a, like a maintenance plan for all of the maintenance that's going to have to happen in the buildings in is all Bruce of those donating buildings. Donating a sign. <laughs> so I just did a quick math a of, the, of the 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 different people they would need when Julie was sitting there of who they you know you need a you need an engineer you would need a building you know you, there's all different so people engineer, that they're yeah. going to need to look at. It. And I just, the, I just think that the, it's going to be a, the the money could be really burnt up pretty so, quick. So yeah. we can spend a hundred thousand dollars to find out what's wrong with it, or we can keep the money until something breaks and fix it. <laughs> right. I know. Well, uh, well, my husband is retiring in about eighteen months, <laughs> a year, something. So, and he he's a he's going to have to donate some town time here. I think, uh, he's a he PE, <laughs> and he does this stuff. He's written books on this, so. He could do a walkthrough. He would not do like a formal report. Right. But he could certainly do the kind of stuff that is important, the yeah. basics. Yeah. I'll let him know. So you're it was a pretty, yeah. um, it was pretty extensive. But anyway, they're moving along. It's really exciting though, they've because they've got a lot of energy and they have done a lot of work in a short time. So I'm excited okay, to that's support great. them and help yeah, them absolutely. You know, move along. Yep. Um, you did your stuff tonight with the clarifier. Yep. You're yep. all good. Um, so the next thing with the Council on Aging, we have a, you might remember Lisa White had talked mm -hmm. about a while ago doing an age-friendly designation for the town. Yep. We have that application ready to move forward and we'd like to put it on the April 17th agenda. To discuss, um, okay. to discuss okay. it. And at the same time, we'd like to also talk about the complete streets policy, or that needs to come up. It doesn't yes. have to be at the same time, but as Carolyn mentioned, we, we do have a deadline of May to yep. get the policy adopted, so okay. I'd like to get it out. Well, I, I, I don't want to wait to make it any later because right. then no. there could yeah, be yeah. some questions. And yep. then the other thing I just had on here, I have other items in process, but I really wanted to ask your, your support and opinion. Yes. I think we could do this, but yes. I'd like to add some temporary staff just to catch up on the minutes if we could do that. Um, I have money in consultants, somebody. I have money in salaries. I, I mean, we have money, as you said, in staffing on both we both ends. To. And I'm talking about a minimum wage assignment, uh, but just somebody that At the that end could, of the year, you can transfer up to 5% right. to other line items exactly. within our office. But right. and, uh, and up I until just, that point, you can't. Um, you'd have to do it under contract. Right. You can't and do I it could, under but salary. I have. I, I'm, I'm thinking that doing a set services. of minutes will be a minimum this. price, um, and and we just we, we really can ask need for a reserve tra tra transfer because we didn't cover this in the contract services. Mm -hmm. But calculate yeah. 
at the end of the year how much that five you have our support for but sure. I wonder at least mine thank you yep. because money is there. doing the money doing there. an amazing job but she is doing She's you know limited. also doing like three people's jobs okay. so um it'd be great if we could just get some minutes yep sounds good. great thank you so much that's all i had all right um, um next meeting's april 3rd April third, yes, next week. So I have I have you meeting okay. April third. This is the letter. From and then April seventeenth. Um, I basically in April was starting you on your regular meeting schedule of every two weeks at this time. Um, I can't in be April? here in April. I can't be here on April tenth. But if you wanted to have you know meetings yeah, later. Yeah, I can't on, do April tenth. But um, um, but if you want to, you know right now I we've got seventeenth scheduled um, already. So. But yeah, we could have an extra couple meetings if we had. Yeah, to. if we need to. And the twenty fourth, right. of course. Yeah. We don't yeah. have to have them on a Wednesday. Yep. But yeah. Okay. Um, Absolutely. Sounds good. And we're meeting at six. Next right? week we're meeting. We're going to move to seven pretty soon again, right? No. No, because mm -hmm. Kip isn't going to be cutting hay before. No, it's only when, when I when don't you do know in the summer. Hay, yeah. It would be nice to cut hay early, maybe, but I don't think yep. it's real. Okay. So get it. I need to get that um, pilot thing I just handed you signed, so don't leave. Oh, okay. it's all set. Do you want this letter? Is this my copy, or um, did you want this? That's your copy, and you know, I just wanted you to know we got it. Um, I did talk to him, and I will. I now oh, that I know it's time to oh, Washington, I will call oh, him great. and tell him it went to Washington. Yes. Oh, nice. And ask him to follow it to and Washington. And ask him for <laughs> suggestions of how we advocate great. correctly. Okay. 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 Can I make a copy of this? Yeah. Because um, what happens is you have to make it go political now. Mm -hmm. So ask him what we need to do to do that. Because yep. that's okay. it's hugely important, Diana. I cannot stress it enough. Well, now that it's in if it gives the it gives the agencies cover. Um, so we okay. have to we have to cons we have to do some kind of stir. Mm -hmm. So what does he what does he recommend for the stir? Gotcha. And then we'll do do it. If it requires a visit to somebody's office, we can do it. Washington DC. No, well, no. I want to go. No, you go to you go to district <laughs> office. We we go down to you know Richie Send Neal's me. office. No, but we could go to Richie Neal's yeah. office in Springfield. Yeah. Do who needs this? Anybody else need a copy? No, I have copies. Oh. Even even put holes in it for you. Oh, Trevor, thank you. You're welcome. Um, but this is hugely important to do this. I'm serious. And 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 like I said, well, I say thank you. Till you call till and you say right. thank you. I did. Well, right. And you say now we heard that this night that it went down to Washington. Yeah. What do we yeah, do? Yeah, because because I had okay because he responded to me and said here's your letter and I'm and, and I'll let you know as soon as I know. Now I'm going to call Matt and say it's in Washington. You're, you're packing <laughs> up. Like we're done. It went from oh, the Wareham office <laughs> to the Washington office. Yeah. So how do we advocate? Yeah, I'm really tired. Exactly. I gotta get okay. Home. So there's anyone from the public would like to make a comment? Yes. I'm sorry. Uh, Please Nobody comment. Here. So do we have a motion to adjourn? Yes, second. I give a motion to adjourn. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Thank Good you. night. Good evening.